<laughs> you would think that the music just had to keep on going there for a little bit. Wait. So it's funny. Guardian Down, uh, always one of the first in chat. Hello, Adam. Also, hello to you as well. Um, mentioned no ish tonight that we were actually on time. So yeah. I think it just means that if we take about three weeks off, we can then be on time for a show. We can so reset. We, so we can either be five or ten minutes late, but be here more often <laughs> or be here less, but we're on time for that. On time. time. That's so right. it is up to you. It is completely up to your choice there, Guardian <laughs> Down. <laughs> Baker, good to see you as well. I agree. No ish tonight. No ish at all whatsoever. It was even going to be earlier it was. But then there was some uh, there was some ish. There was a little bit of ish on our end. Pocket, good Hello, morning Pocket. and evening to you. <laughs> yeah, there was uh, there was ish. Uh, our camera was doing this like not freeze frame, but it was like stuttering like, a little bit. So yeah, I closed a few windows. We'll see how it goes. Like I said, we reset OBS. We'll we'll see we'll see what happens. Like I said, it should it should be fine. No matter what, uh, like I said, uh, <laughs> me stuttering a little bit probably is what you're used to completely. <laughs> Stone, how's it going? Seventy two wins out of a hundred. I'm in hell. That is a lot for that Iron Banner title, Stone. But you've got it. You're getting close. I feel it's going to happen. <laughs> so I'm in hell. That would I would think so. Seventy two out of a hundred is good. Yes, you're almost done. Okay, you got to get to 100 though. That's a lot. Okay. Oh, I see. Got to get Not to. 72 out of 100 like a percentage. No. 72 on your way toward on your 100. way to 100. Yeah. So 28 more. 28 more. 72 percent of the some, way there. Yeah. There we go. Some, some okay. blend of victories. Okay. Uh, but I'm glad to see everybody here this evening. It is Thursday. It is 5:30 uh, ish here in the uh, Mountain slash Pacific time zone because we're back to that daylight savings, Whoever. whatever that Wherever, is. Wherever. Yes. Uh, and uh, yeah, so it is a time for some podcast fun. And I'm Andrew. And I'm Keith. You have to think about it for a second. Uh, I know it's I'm, been a few weeks. I'm Adidas. I'm glad. Oh, wait. You, <laughs> I am Adidas. <laughs> Keith always writes his name on all his shirts. That's right. Remembers. Just so I remember. I usually like to write it upside down so I can actually. <laughs> yeah. so. I'm Keith. Uh, I am Keith. <laughs> Keith. I.E. Buttle. That's right. I.E. Buttle. I like your hoodie. Look at that. You're already getting compliments on your hoodie, compliments which is nice, hoodie. too. Well, that's okay. what's nice. Since we have it nice and temperature controlled in here, we can actually wear different formal wear all year round. We could. Yeah, we could be in a parka you're right. we if, could if we so choose if you really want to crank that thing up that would be hilarious <laughs> uh if we need to you max out on the Jotun catalyst oh my gosh stone you're making it happen getting it done however you can that word's pronounced Jotun. uh yeah it's slightly spelled wrong Oh, I know. I didn't know. But because there's the little dot. The dot. umlaut the, is there, the yeah. The umlaut. Yot, so Yot, I didn't know. Yeah, it kind of looks. It's, it is a uh, fusion rifle. It kind of looks like a toaster. Everyone jokes that it's the toaster. A toaster. Okay. Yeah, it's this like box. It's not a slow thing. computer. It's not a slow computer. Okay, no. all right. No, it is not. Okay. Um, but yeah, we're back uh, once again. Going to have a, a few beverages. Uh, one of them is one I've been sitting on for, not uh, literally sitting on, but I've had in my refrigerator. <laughs> Gross. Uh, yeah, I know. Exactly. Keith's not interested in this Methane one. Methane heated. <laughs> <laughs> um, had this one for about three or four weeks now. I've mentioned it several times. It was one that uh, was actually, actually, this show could have been categorized as viewer suggested podcasts okay. uh, and shows because uh, Chucky was the one who had mentioned to me about this particular beer from Prairie because he's in Oklahoma. Oh, yeah. And it's one of okay. his wife's favorites. Right. He also likes it too. Uh, and last week when we didn't have it, he was like, he's like, oh, I missed the show last night. And uh, I can't wait. <laughs> no, to you didn't. Can we see your review? I was like, I was like, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. We're back. <laughs> We're back. I'm like, we'll do it next week. We he's knew like, you awesome. could be available. It was 100%. So yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we have that one. And then uh, four beers from uh, Sprecher uh, Brewery, but they do craft sodas uh, as well as long as beer brewing. Uh, so it should be very, very interesting uh, when it comes to those. But those were also brought up and suggested by Frosty. Like I said, so we've got uh, mm. kind of a viewer requested show. Which beer is and fun. soda. Mm. Very late Destiny, boys. There is no Destiny. We're no Destiny tonight. I mean, there can be Destiny discussion, but it's more beverage discussion tonight and catching up because it's been uh, several weeks. I yes. completed season one of a show with my wife that we can talk about. I don't know if you have new television shows you've gotten through. And uh, while we're figuring that out, I'm going to reach back and get the beer out of the no. out of the fridge. We're waiting for uh, the, to uh, for Ted Lasso to build up of enough of a head of steam so that we can then pay for a month and then just make sure we watch it all. So. Yeah, yeah, and that's how the that's how it starts. That TV show. That's oh, that's right. We always go right past. It. Okay. Wow. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and the viewers requested Keith. Oh, great! You brought Andrew. I know you get me four days a week, uh, and now you get this. <laughs> it is frosty. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry, no. I'm thirsty guy walks into a bar. 
You finish it. <laughs> Frosty, thank you once again. I appreciate it uh, for continuing to hang out and watch the channel yes. and uh, using up uh, the gifted sub that Mel gave to you. Today is supposed to be my local brewery day. It is. We will be doing that uh, second. We will be hitting up four of those brews that we were talking about. Some craft soda action. But uh, yeah, we're going to start with this one. Let me go find all the buttons. It's been a while since we podcasted, so now I've got to find things. Um, it's thinking about it. Oh, it's really thinking about it. Why is it thinking so hard? It shouldn't think. Thinking. It's thinking. I'll just do it myself. Efforting. I'll just do it myself. There we go. Uh, so this is from Prairie Artisan Ales. This is their Blueberry Boyfriend Sour Ale. Blueberry Boyfriend. So All we right. have been sitting on this one for a little bit. Uh, again, in the refrigerator. Yes. Uh, not, yeah. literally, not literally sitting. Not literally sitting. No, not at all. Literally not sitting. Fresh cut? I did. I did go get a haircut today. I was going to do it last week, and then it didn't happen. And then all of a sudden, this, I, I, I got to get a haircut. If we've been <laughs> gone for three weeks, people expect more of me, so I had to do that. He dances for nickels. Pete, you got some customers. <laughs> Still a classic. Uh, Baker, yes. thank you for handsome yes. Pete. Always good to have the Pete redemption. Darn good to see you both again. Nice. Bring the old hair back, please. Wow. Oh, my God. I Did know, you sweep thing? it up when you left? The- I should have. <laughs> I, it wasn't long enough to do like locks for love or anything like that. Like I said. You know, it has I, to get pretty long for that. Yeah, exactly. Maybe my pubes I could do that with, but probably oh. not there. My, oh, no, no. I use that for braiding. <laughs> pubes for love? Wait, no, that's not right. Oh, God. Do they accept that kind Maybe of Maybe there's some child that wants curly hair. Like, oh, I can't say. God. Come on. They, they wash it. So they, they okay. clean it. It's fine. Oh, man. Dear Lord. All right. Let's <laughs> first talk about things that are not We haven't even had anything. I know. That's what shocking um well at least for us uh we watched season one of only murders in the building finally Ah, i finally encouraged it because we were i can't remember what it was we were like (laughs) well because we finished uh we finished schitt's creek i i saw you tweeted about that oh have you watched that oh yeah have you finished it oh yeah oh yeah. Emotionally we were destroying. sad that it was already gone. Emotionally destroying. Yeah. Oh my God. I watched the second to last episode twice, cried both times. <laughs> I'm not, I'm man enough to admit it. Good. Although I don't know why that's a manly thing, but it's, <laughs> I, yes, no, like literally wept open. Like what a beautiful, touching love story and wonderful show. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. I like the new dude. Thank you, Pocket. I appreciate it. Well, at least one person in chat is kind to me. <laughs> Yeah, uh, no, that's a that was a really. That was this a, is not where I was <laughs> expecting this to go. I may have to tune out for this lewd content. I don't want if that's hopefully that has not ruined any part of the amazing elk or something you've made for dinner, Frosty. That uh, uh, the lewd comments. So like I said, yes, if you need to turn this off, that's totally fine. Wow, Shit's Creek is so yes, it was. I it is definitely a show I I could see in the next six months, like just firing up again and going oh, yeah. that. Oh, you did the bison brats. How did those come out? They're the, coming back up. Damn. There's a lot of things that you know that were great about that but i the one episode i really liked was when they went out to dinner with their like old friends and then um roland oh, and, and his they wife show showed up yeah because they were supposed to get together and yeah. they said they couldn't do it and, and they were at and the same restaurant did, yeah and then just the way he handled that and said how oh, great they mm. you know i just i thought wow that was that was yeah but there's a lot of a lot of funny stuff in there their, their evolution in that show of everyone's characters was very subtle yeah but it was hand, it was like they everyone kind of had their own little arc and it wasn't done in like a cheesy sitcom way in the way things came to I, yeah, yeah i think they just handle all that stuff so well uh Catherine o'hara is just so good she's yeah. just you know amazing and obviously yeah just the whole whole Damn. cast another great ensemble yeah. and uh i didn't know or maybe you do you know that uh that twyla is actually their daughter, daughter. Yeah. yeah like said so lots daughter. of lots of uh family yeah. on that show much better than the elf but not as good as normal brats oh interesting that is good smoking to know my jerky i was sm- wow. <laughs> supposed to smoke my jerky tonight it's better than but jerking it was raining oh god oh. right there <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Yeah, you were talking about that yesterday. Yeah, uh, Guardian Down actually does a whole like uh, thing specifically, uh, likes it for some some smoked jerky that he does. I forgot. What did you say the recipe was? What do you, what do you use Guardian Down? I would say blueberry and a little like farmhouse kind of yeah, something going on in there too. Little little funk going we, on there. We do like the we do like the beers from Prairie and they do the the sours quite well. I had a Prairie beer last weekend when uh, my friend and I we were doing our uh, homebrew. We were doing the IPA, um, and uh, we had it was a Prairie beer. It was I'll have to look it up because I rated it, but it was oh my god, it was as well as like 
Just like yeah. you just like sit there for a minute. You're like, well, it's unfortunate at some point this beer will end and I don't <laughs> want it to. It was one of those. It was so good. We also had one from Bottle Logic as well, which we'll wind up talking about. Dad and two kids, no fun food tomorrow. Oh, Frosty, we'll make sure you get all the fun food in tonight then. Or as many as you can. Let's see where is it? It's got to be my last few that we did. Uh, it was called, it was from Prairie Artisan Ales from 2022. This is the way Imperial double pastry stout. You know how much I love the pastry stouts. Of the savor, the, yes. the sweet kind of things going on. Um, dark chocolate brownie and just the right balance of barrel age notes. I would write more, but I can't stop smelling and drinking this one. <laughs> I think that says it all, but yeah, Prairie again. <laughs> Got to get lost in that moment. <clears throat> yeah. Have it soaking in red pepper, jelly and Vidalia onion and garlic marinade. Does that not sound delicious? Oh my God. I love like the so homemade beef jerky is just so good. it's always seems a little more tender than what you get in the store. Like, I don't know if it's yeah. just because it's fresher, like they don't dehydrate it quite as much, but man, it's good. I had a beer from Toppling Goliath probably a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. And, but it reminded me, remember uh, the game that uh, Pocket and Dave used to play Skull Monkeys? Oh gosh, I haven't thought about that in forever. Because it, it, it said like skulls, something and money, but there was a picture like of a skull in it, but it reminded me of Skull Monkeys. And so I bought it. And I, but I love Top of the Goliath beer anyway. And their that, IBAs are fantastic. And that it was a it was a double. And that beer was like the best beer I've had in a long time. It was just everything from the aroma to the look to the drink. It was just I was just like I didn't need to have anything else because it just Oh. It didn't. Yeah, it just was. It was. Del- it was delicious. I wasn't planning on having another beer, anyways. But had I been thinking about it, I don't think <laughs> you would have needed it. I would have been done. Get yeah. it from the butcher shop. Yeah, I bet stuff from a butcher shop would be way better for us. That's that is probably very true. Like so, that is. That's why I don't. Usually, I don't buy jerky because it's so expensive. It's gotten. Very it's like expensive. it's like oh my god! It's like sixteen dollars. Yeah. How much am I getting? Three ounces. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what? It's like not even a snack. That's why it's so tough because it takes you. You're going to want it to be tough because it'll take you an hour to chew each piece. <laughs> I need it to be like a piece of bubble yeah, gum just that get, it lasts that long. Exactly. It becomes uh, jerky chew. <laughs> jerky chew. $20 a pound at the booger. If, if it is $20 a pound at the butcher shop, that is that is a way better deal than what you see in the store. So, mm-hmm. yeah. And I'm, like again, better quality too, for sure. But yeah, so we watched the uh, first season of No Only Murders in the Bill. There's only two seasons right now, right? They're working on a third. Correct. Is that what it is? Okay. Yes. All right. And I liked it. It was good. It's yeah, it's good. It's a little uneven at times. Uh, some of the episodes, like it, it kept me going cause I wanted to, you know, I, I yeah. like a good mystery. So I wanted to know yeah, who it did. Um, good twist where you're kind of watching it and you're like, well, they've told me who the person is. And like, there's two episodes left. What am I just going to sit here and just know that this is the person? Is it just them trying to figure out how to catch him again? Or, and then there's some twists with that. Like I said, so I think yeah. they did a, a good job. I know it's an old show. Like I said, but just trying not to completely well, spoil it for people. Too but, old, but um, came out in 2021 and then 2022. So oh, they did it that it, quick. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's like, and it's September. It's like August, September that it came out. I, well, no, maybe that was first year. It might actually come out a little sooner than that. So, no, overall, I thought, like I said, I thought the story was good. Like I said, there was definitely moments, like I said, of that I've definitely LOL'd, like laughed at, like I said, they were just yeah. really funny. Like Martin Short's just kind of very funny, like his characterization and the whole thing about Splash 2. <laughs> and they're like, and when he's telling Steve Martin about that, they all dove into a very short pool. And he's like, he's like, they, they all, why did they all do that? And they're, and they're like, well, they were all choreographed. So they just went in. I was like, oh God, it's so stupid. I like how he said, but I can't remember the name of his dog, but when they're in the elevator, don't stand so close to Sting. <laughs> yeah yeah like the that. sting stuff was funny like yeah. i had forgotten i think you had mentioned that he was in it but i had forgotten that um uh, second like, season's good too it's is a, it? it's a little more martin short than steve martin seemed like was a little bit more of the focus this one well, yeah uh, which is, and it's still so still makes very sense. good uh but yeah no it's very very good i yeah, well i'm glad i'm glad since I they are making sure a season three i'm assuming selena gomez is not in jail for killing the person at the end that they show that she stabbed with a knitting needle Oh, well, you have to see season two. Yeah. I'm not <laughs> going to tell you anything about that. I, she, she was probably my least favorite part of the show. Like, I'm not, I'm not sure what she is doing with her voice. If she was going yeah, for an little... accent, if that's how she talks, I'm yeah. not sure. So yeah. I'm not trying to like make fun of like, yeah, that was the part that was the least for me where it was just like, she would be talking. They'll say, it was almost like a little bit of Boz Skaggs in there. There was a little bit. Of, yeah. And I had to listen to that song afterwards then too. Uh, but yeah, like I said, it was, there was a little bit of that in there, which was weird. Like, yeah, I couldn't figure it out. 
because she was funny too. She had some good, you know, she definitely, I like the interaction worked between well them. with all of, yeah. Yeah. And they didn't do, they did just the right amount of like, you don't know technology and you're right. old. Right. They, they like came right up to the precipice of yeah. like being like, okay, this is kind of ridiculous. Yeah. The funniest stuff was when, like said, Steve Martin, when he's like texting her and he would sign the text. Yeah. Hi, she's, she's like, like, she's like, I know who I know who's that, that, yeah. You don't have to do that. <laughs> and then he's like, I got it. And they're like, what? And he's like, how am I going to start? How am I going to do the initial greeting for this text? Like he was like very specific. It's like when we get a text from Joe, <laughs> like, or, like he's like his grammar is like oh, immaculate. Yeah. And it's like, there's like Perfect. a thesis statement and like whatever. It's like, <laughs> which I appreciate, but it's hilarious. Yes. Very but, yeah. well thought out. <clears throat> but yeah, like I said, no overall good show. I enjoyed it. We won't, you know, I definitely want to watch the second season. Good. Yeah. Had, a, had a good time worth, well, well worth, well worthwhile for sure. And I'm, yeah, I'm glad they're making a third season. Yeah, I felt like they, I felt bad for Martin Short a little bit too with the stuff the dynamic of his son and you know losing like some of their relationship things yeah. and stuff. But I'm glad that that kind of tied back around and and everything. But yeah, I did a good job. My friend comes home from Oregon tomorrow. I hope to see her this weekend. Ooh, nice guardian now. That sounds like good times. Are you going to have any of those beers that you were showing me the other day in, uh, in the pub section of the Discord? Guardian Down had posted a couple beers. Thankfully, not with a middle finger this time. Let's see. There we go. We got Candy Maker Milk Stout uh, featuring. Can't read what that is. It's too, too small. Wait. There it is. Peanut butter. Ah, peanut butter. Okay. Got it. With special guest star, Peanut, peanut Butter. butter. <laughs> yeah. So and thick then this peanut one, butter. This one I thought sounded good. Boston Cream Donut White Stout. Oh, okay. okay. Which. He said was odd. I remember you talking about this one. You said this one actually had like vanilla extract, coffee, cocoa nibs, lactose, natural flavors. The natural flavor, he said you had, had a little bit of what was it? Raspberry or strawberry? Hmm. Like it was something like that. You're like, it was unexpected, but it was not bad. Like okay. it was one of those things like, it was like the unexpected cheddar. You're like, oh, this worked out. Oh, like, it yeah. actually is okay. It's okay. There's Parmesan yeah. in there. So what's your opinion on Jack Daniels? Um, if you, I like Jack Daniels more expensive offerings. If it's some of their like higher proof single barrel things, but old number seven is not for me, even for mixing. It's just not, I just don't I like that. Had that. That's not a flavor a that time, I, but... that I like that sour mash yeah. kind of Tennessee whiskey is something yeah. I'm usually not a huge fan of. Gentleman Jack is a little better. I like the, there's a single barrel. That's pretty good. Um, there is also one that would be on my bucket list to get a bottle of that. They come out with every year. They do a barrel proof. Uh, it's usually around 125, 130 proof. It is a rye. Um, like I said, my friend that I did the brewing with this weekend, he has a bottle. I've gotten to have a taste of that. It's probably one of my top five things I've ever had. Like it is absolutely wow. delicious. Okay. And at that proof, it's almost like the Frey Ranch where it's like, it's still super smooth. It's even smoother than that wow. where you're like, oh, this is totally dangerous. Cause it's like, yeah, it's, it's delicious. I know it's a little different every year, but um, like I said, at least that, that particular one, if you can find that one, it's one that should be only like 75 bucks, like I said, which is not cheap, but is, you know, it's you know reasonable for that proof and uh, the care that goes into it. But unfortunately, it turns into a secondary market thing. It's like, oh, $200, you know, all that yeah. stuff. Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm debating whether to take the two hour drive tomorrow to my favorite PB&J sour or this weekend. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Well, it depends. Would, uh, would your friend that is coming in from Oregon, would they want to go there too? Turn it into a little bit of an outing. <laughs> You're a flavored whiskey guy yourself. So Jack Daniels, another my favorite. That's totally fine. Like I said, I'm not a flavored whiskey person. That is not my thing. Um, everyone to each their own, but yeah, the flavored whiskey stuff <laughs> is not a trend I go for. Spent the last hour talking uh, wine with my boss today. The meeting was supposed to be an hour. It was two hours. That is a good meeting. Though. Well, at least the last hour was about wine. That was always some of my favorite meetings that, that we used to have. Sometimes where all of a sudden you just get in these conversations, you know, you'd, you'd get what done, what you need to get done. And then all of a sudden it would turn into like that kind of conversation. Yep. And it's just, yeah, that's just, that's how you build relationships and stuff too. Is just like having those common interests and um, kind of learning where people come from when it comes to things like that. Did Arbuckle still have uh, Jonathan's cork as a, they did. Yeah. Okay. I saw he's selling. Oh, is he? Yeah. He he's selling sold it. Is there a sign outside or something like that? For sale. You're, I drove no, by no, and there's it's already like, no, he was putting it in the ground. His beard got in the way yeah. as he was putting it in. <laughs> so I was just thinking about that for some reason something that place needed a cleaning. Need what? Needed a cleaning. Need a cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> I remember leave. back in the day trucker worked there. Oh, did he? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I did. wasn't he a bartender? He was uh no, he was a chef or oh, something, in the, oh, okay. yeah, something in the kitchen. I haven't thought about him in forever. Before he yeah became the 
radiology tech guy. So that was actually how he made the food was with radiology. (laughs) It was, it was quick. It was insta cooking. It was really fast, but just a high rate of just, uh, you know, (laughs) getting, getting like, what do do you call it? Radioactivity. (laughs) High level of that. So what do you think of this one? It's good. It's not one of my favorites from them, but it's, but they have a lot of good ones. So even putting it in there, I like others from them better. Um, but it's got the blueberries, uh, not as, I think I would like more of that. Yeah. Um, but it does have a nice little soury pucker thing going on. So, but it's good. I mean, this is also supposed to have, it's blueberries and lemon zest. I don't get, I get a little bit of the lemon in there. Maybe like it's that's kind of like I'm... a nice thing just kind of to boost things up. I would like a little more. This one's also, especially for prairie things is on the cheaper side. It's three bucks. Okay. It's one um, of those, like their vape tricks and, uh, yeah, there's a couple others they have that. So, okay. So that makes it even, even better. Yeah, but no, I well, no, I think it's good. Definitely one I would be happy to like, you know, have on the shelf. But yeah, it's not one of my like, you know, people said, oh, what beers should I definitely get from Prairie? Yeah, this wouldn't be one I would mention right away unless they said I have a budget of three dollars. Yes, because <laughs> you're starting with tiny S's usually if you're talking about sours. I mean, that's again, the, I think that is where you would yeah. start with them because the that one's too. even what five. That one's five. Yeah. You know, so that's like, again, five still not too bad. And. Man, that is that is delicious. I actually told, uh, speaking of, like I said, a lot of a lot of Jay stories from the weekend. Like I said, I actually told him as well about the uh, slushies that Pocket likes to make. With the oh, onion. yes. And he was like, really? I was like, I tried it. It is delicious. Did you try it? Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, no, last time we were over at, at, uh, at Joe's, oh. like I said, yeah, she oh, okay. was having one. She was, she was like, try it. And I was, I was like, okay. And I was like, oh, my God, she's yeah. right. This is delicious. <laughs> I've the considered beer slushy. It. Do you just like pour that in and just like keep putting it yeah. in the freezer and checking it? And like, yeah. how long does that take? It, gla- it doesn't usually seem to take too long. Maybe, I don't know, pocket. Do if you kind of keep around, like mixing it, it like up a, or whatever. Just, what if you like had an one ice cream maker? The, yeah. what if, well, no, like not turning yeah. into ice cream, but no, like if you had the thing that's frozen, so then it's turning around. I wonder if you could get it done in like 30 minutes if you poured it in there. It like doesn't it was just take, cold. I, I think it's. Probably an hour. Okay, she's saying forty-five minutes ish. Yeah. Oh, okay. It seems like that. That's I was faster than an hour. Half hour, to an hour. Yeah. No, because okay. it's pour it in like a, you know, just like a shorter a sheet pan. Yeah. Well, well, you can do that too. I probably would get it. <laughs> you scrape yeah. it up. I had read like sorbet. Actually, I did that with coffee once. People were. So I'd read something about yeah, put it in a sheet pan and then scrape it every once in a while. And you, yeah, you have coffee ice. Yeah. That makes sense. It was good. Yeah. But no, I like that. That was uh, that was that one is pretty tasty. Yeah. Yeah. I would think I think I would get that one again. Um, the other stout that we had that was really good, since I'm flipping through the Untapped and we're catching up on things, uh, was from Bottle Logic. It was called I don't know if I'm gonna pronounce this right. Uh, Aurum Orbitals, Aurum Orbitals, A U R U M. Aurum, Aurum, I guess. Aurum, Aura. It's almost like Aura, but aura. it's not. Um, so this one, great balance, aroma of whiskey, milk, chocolate, and hazelnut. Ooh. Flavor is more of the same, slightly lighter body than expected, but still rich. Okay. So yeah, that was one of those ones I've, sometimes I feel like you and I go to the same well where we're like, I want a little more body. Like yeah. a, that seems to always be our yeah. thing, but I guess if Especially everything had body, those. then it'd just be too much. The other one that was really interesting too, we had Belching Beaver Brewery, Spirit of the Hive. It was a mead slash braggot style. I don't even know what braggot is. So it's, I, I guess it's like, I'll, let me look it up so I don't completely get that definition wrong. Um, but it is a, uh, it just made, made us keep saying are all men from the future, loudmouth braggots. <laughs> um, Belching Beaver Brewery. Yes. Yes. They are out of San Diego, California, and they do a lot of really delicious thing. Um, braggot is what happens That's when honey <laughs> meets beer. That it sounds is, lewd. It is uh, yeah, somewhat the yeah, name is somewhat lewd. The graphic is yes. a little bit that as well, to yes. be honest. Uh, let's see if the actual When Honey Meets Beer. Okay. Okay. Well going that way it worked. Um uh, some say Braggot is beer mixed with another of the oldest fermented beverages, mead, and others say Braggot is a mead made with grains and hops. So either way, it's kind of a blend of those two styles. So this beer was made in collaboration with this beer is made, uh, Superstition Meadery? You are correct. Oh, wow. Okay. Superstition Meadery. Good. It was delicious. <laughs> okay. If you see one of these, this one specifically, I would definitely, we should give it a shot. We should probably do a podcast or something on it because okay. it was very unique, very interesting. It was one of those ones where you're like, oh, this is a little sweet on the sweeter side. Is this going to be one where I'm like, okay, I only kind of want this much. Like, you know, like it, I was happy to split it. Like it wasn't one I'd probably want a 16 ounce can of, but splitting it that amount but it, it was one where i was like okay is this going to keep getting too heavy with each one and like oh, i'm kind of tired and it wasn't like it kept kind of 
showing off some different okay. flavors as it warmed up a little bit you got a little bit more of the complexity so it was it was very tasty so um the only other joke i did make though is i thought you know it's one of those ones where you have that you have that first great experience with kind of a new style that i'm not familiar like oh i should try these and you try them like oh no just that one was good that was the only yeah. like, i found the outlier on you my first the, try yeah, the, the delicious unicorn. one uh, mm -hmm. So my roommate and I were playing some Iron Banana, Iron Banner, actually. Uh, and we were popping off the music, <laughs> blaring. We were laughing and screaming like little kids do, having fun. And his parents went big, oh, Bigfoot hunting to get away. Oh, my gosh. That is uh, that is an interesting call if you're going to go look for an imaginary animal because you guys Good are being luck. so loud. That's right. It sounds like you're actually stoned. It could be. <laughs> <laughs> Always options. Always options. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys all for hanging out tonight. I appreciate it very much. Um, yes. How about you? Have you had like besides that uh, toppling Goliath? Have you had anything else you've been enjoying as of late? Anything uh, that has been tasty? Mm. Did you go tracking down some beers? You seemed like you had another story that you stopped yourself on like twice as we were talking. About. Well, I was saying that uh, we're having some uh, visitors um, coming out this weekend, and he mentioned that he's going to bring a couple of. Uh, uh, Pliny the Elders and nice. uh, so and a Pliny the Younger too, which is really uh, nice. wow. That would have been so well. Uh, so it was over spring break a couple weeks ago. Um, our son went to uh, he and his girlfriend and a friend went to Coronado Island. Oh, nice! And I had thought about saying, "Hey, if you happen to go into a beer shop, will you look for Pliny to bring me?" And I thought I'm not going to bother him on his trip. But guess what? That thoughtful kid did. He brought you a Pliny. He texted me and said. What's that beer that you're looking for? Is it Pliny the Younger? And I, I said, you're Pliny like, the Elder, Pliny tell me the Younger. Hey, he's like, did you want me to get you one? Of, and I was like, I said in all caps, yes. And he's like, and then he said back, he's like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to give you the, uh, the idea that I actually found some Pliny the Younger. And, uh, <laughs> but if I do you're find all, you, you son of a bitch. And then he said, it actually doesn't come out till March 24th. And so anyways, it was. Uh, but yeah, no, he, so he wound up, uh, he said, well, I remember how much you liked it. So he wound up getting me three, which currently in, in, in Flagstaff. Oh, nice. Uh, but, uh, but still, they're, 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 they're closer they're than closer. they normally are. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and then he asked, he's like, Dan, do you have any recommendations for breweries while we're out here? So I had, um, I had, I mentioned the, uh, Carl Strauss day. He actually went to Carl Strauss uh, and ate oh, cool. and he had a red trolley and then I mentioned Burgeon and he's, he and uh, his, yeah. So anyways, they had a nice little, so it was kind of cool texting him about that's fun uh, having a, and also as a dad, I had to say, be safe. Yeah. Yep. That's, that's <laughs> just uh, be safe. Yeah. So that's, that sounds, very, but, anyway, but very it was, uh, but it was, it was, it was a very cool thing that he, he did that. So, so yeah, so I have so, some, somewhere, in the and maybe I'll, I'll probably see him when he graduates. So maybe that's when I'll we'll celebrate with the planning or something. <laughs> he, he's a, you're like, son, congratulations! That beer you where, were talking about, like you just beers? kind of roll right into it. Yeah. Where were those again? Um, can I fit one of those? In my <laughs> can you have beer at the graduation <laughs> celebration? If anything, I should I should have one. That's of those, what you but, should cheers with right there. Yes. That would be good. Um, sounds like a very thoughtful son. I would uh, say very so. Thoughtful that son. is very thoughtful. Yeah. Uh, if that is like the Roman figure, that is the wrong pronunciation. Which, what are we talking about? We've gone through a few conversations, Frosty, so sorry if I missed what one you were talking about. If we were talking about the beer I was talking about. It could be. I probably did a horrible pronunciation of something. Imaginary? I don't know. Does anyone else actually think Bigfoot is real? I've never actually seen Bigfoot, so. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Imaginary. I see a lot of, like, pictures like Loch Ness Monster kind of stuff, so until I actually get to see an actual photo of Harry and the Hendersons, Bigfoot style, something like hanging out at the house. I probably won't go for it. Oh, no, that is that is how you pronounce it. Pliny the Elder. Plin. Pliny. That's how we always. That's I mean, that's how everyone pronounces it. Yeah, wrong, that's how, but it's, yes, it, it is based off of that particular person. Yeah. So we should we so we should be saying Pliny? No, we're not going to switch what we're saying. Okay, that's whatever. Because <laughs> uh, yeah, it's from Russian River Brewing Company. Yes, and once a year they re that, it's a double IPA that mm -hmm. they do year round in limited release. But then once a year they have a, a, a younger version, and uh, that is the one. It's a triple. That is like and literally yeah, sought very, after. Yeah, you can usually only get that at the brewery um, or limited uh, on draft in certain places. So. That is what my history professors and history podcasts use. Um, well, I'm sorry they're maybe incorrect. That's really beer. weird. That is a super bummer. But maybe yeah. it's just a beer thing. Maybe I don't know. It's also spelled. That is spelled the same, actually. 
whether that's what the brewery uses up to them. Yeah, like I said, that is, I have never heard it pronounced anywhere differently when it comes to the beer, but I am not a history person. So, so yeah. that's why I'll dip out right on that one. <laughs> Bigfoot isn't imaginary, but I know people have different options on the matter. So, eh, I, eh, do you actually have proof of a Bigfoot? Because I think that would be a pretty big thing you could make a lot of money with Stone. So, I'm just throwing that out there. If you need any cash and you have proof of a Bigfoot, <laughs> You should run right now to your nearest like store. And all those pictures you used to see back yeah. from what the seventies, I think. So probably back even older than that. <clears throat> ah, plenty of the younger. Someday we'll get that one. Yes, someday. Uh, but yeah, at least that's how the brute like I said. Who, and maybe they pronounce it differently because they're trying to not get in trouble with the the, or maybe, the, 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 I mean, the Pliny we, estate. Maybe have, the Pliny estate is very like they come out for. Have people. we ever actually heard? Oh no, I've I've heard a I've newscast. Heard, I've on heard on newscasters yeah. and everyone else. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Okay, maybe that's the American, maybe to that's know, the though. Americanized version of it. Americanized version. Yes. And you know how Americans are. We just whatever is what we think is correct. We just go with that because that's apparently the way just of the world. Do it. We just do it. We just do it that way. Um, do we have anything else interesting? I had a sour from Avery as well. A raspberry oh, sour from Avery Brewing. Okay. Yeah, I hadn't had from them in a while either. Um, Avery but yeah, that one was really good things. That one was also was also really good. Um, I think that was the last one of of note. I've been enjoying actually uh, wine more. I had some. I've had Sauvignon Blanc that's come back into the store that I really like, and then um, we had dinner uh, uh, over at uh, Kristen's brother's house last week, and we had um, I brought the Suso Mignello. Oh, Which is really? Still quite delicious. He's. A, we were. I was saying. Well, we kind of described it as a zin or a dirty zin. Or zin. he's like, yeah, it's like a zin with more. <laughs> a zin with more. A zin with more. So that's pretty fun. Yes. So it was enjoyed. Oh, that is. Yeah, that is too funny. Um, it's almost time for soda. It is almost time for soda. We go for soda. But before that soda happens, we. Uh, it was uh, now a week and a half ago. Uh, we had someone that was a very dedicated viewer in chat. Jav uh, finally uh, was able to hit the mark, saved up a lot of points, 750,000 channel points, lurking, watching, everything else, a wonderful dedication. Uh, I think he is actually streaming right now as we speak. So if you guys aren't following Jav, you should probably do that. I'm going to drop his link in chat right now. Uh, just to make sure, where do I have to go for that? I've got to go all the way back to there and there and there and then there. If you guys aren't following Jab, you should do so. Uh, he is super nice, helps out with a ton of Destiny content stuff and also a huge supporter, obviously, of this channel. Um, but yeah, so he finally cashed in the first person to ever do the 750,000 <laughs> Keith Flex, which is absolutely <laughs> insane. Um, we're still not exactly sure how this happened. There are I, rumors we, of its origins. Yeah, there's like possibly it, going back to it's your could, wife. Could be my wife. Could have been lucky, lucky. at some point. We're not was exactly talks. sure. Every once in a while, Keith would wear some tighter shirts and was flexing a little bit. And I think probably then, looking a little leaner and meaner. And <laughs> he was feeling back in my younger days. He was feeling himself a little. Yeah. He was kind of. He was ready. He was feeling good. Uh, so it kind of came up. We put this giant goal number, and it was like, oh, this is this, no one's ever going to get to this. And no, dedicated jab didn't use his point on anything else in chat just sat there uh so it finally happened uh so yeah we are finally going to make this uh, actually occur um and there will be the reveal like i said and this this is, was a one-time thing we'll come up with another big channel point thing we've already having some discussions so don't worry if you've been saving points you're halfway to something else is jav here no i told him about it i'm gonna have to wind up sending him the clip Unfortunately, I had said when we would be doing it, history in the making, I tell you. Um, so, yeah, he is currently playing his game himself. Uh, he's playing some Destiny, so you go follow him if you want. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, we, uh, we will come up with something else, uh, and we will tie it in a little bit to what's going on here uh, as well. And uh, what was mentioned in the byline, would there be something else special besides just the flex? Because, you know, maybe the flex might be good, or, you know, maybe Keith doesn't want to go quite as far. Um, you know, we didn't want to ton of fanfare we just kind of wanted to keep it pretty low-key like nothing really happening just kind of just keep it <laughs> subtle like nothing nothing big <laughs> if only i could flex with this arm oh if you I could can. just turn it around do that there we go i know i know there it is there's the flex <laughs> So this right here is the one-time, one-off shirt, the KB Emote Flex. I didn't realize you were going to have it be so it's huge. encompassing. It's absolutely huge. <laughs> it is the Emote. 
This shirt. Well, maybe not this one exactly. Well, we can ask Jav which one he wants. If he wants this one. When we actually get to talk to Jav, <laughs> he will get to have the choice of if he would like a shirt with this emote sent to him directly. Or if he would like us to get it first, we will sign it for him and then send it off to him. Sign on the fingers or yep, something? Yep, it'll be a one-time only uh, <laughs> shirt. None of these uh, besides this one will ever be made again. We will come up with another shirt of some sort for the next redemption. But yes, this is a one-off, so hopefully Jav felt that it's, his points were worth it. <laughs> you will get so. to see this video at so, some Jav. point Thank you for your dedication. Thank you. I know he does a lot of... You guys do a lot of gaming we and do. accomplish quite a bit together uh, doing that fun stuff. So so thank you. <laughs> so there you go. So the one-off has been done. So thank you very much, Jav. We appreciate it uh, and appreciate everybody's dedication to hang out. We will bring up, we will find something else to do. We will come up with another <laughs> bullshit I want. One. <laughs> we could customize it. Instead of KB, it could be your own personal initials. We could come up with something else. So yeah, we will come up with something else that will be equally as cool. So if you're saving up some points, we will do another like one-off thing so that you can own your very own, uh, like I said, one-time shirt. And again, if you for some <laughs> weird reason want our signatures, we will offer the same thing again. Uh, but yeah, we'll work on that. So thank you guys so much for that. Uh, Keith may keep the shirt on the rest of the show. He may take it off if he wants to keep flexing or he may go back to the other chair. I don't know. There's options here I'm on the table. Sure. We'll see. We'll see. How <laughs> we'll it feels. see. Uh, should we go grab some uh, some sodas and some glasses and things? We should. All right. I think we should. Pants grab. Keebs. How are you doing, Keebs? It's good to see you. Yes. We, we have done the thing. All right. We will be. Uh, wait. Now I got. Oh, I'm in too many directories here. There we go. I go back there. Right there. Uh, there we go. All right. We'll be right back and we're going to go have some sodas, some craft sodas from Sprecker. Sprecker. Are we sharing that idea? Or Keep covered up. Keep covered up. Cover up. People can't take them. Okay, thank God. Ooh, Showing a little fist cleavage. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a knuckle involved? That's my move. Uh, <laughs> Keith had flair, albeit dignified, on zipping the hoodie. <laughs> I didn't. I could have done a little dance, I guess, as I. But we were going more for the the whole Superman music. Yeah, it was ever. exactly. Yeah, to just do that. And it was funny. Keith didn't even know about that part initially. And he came and he's like, well, should I, you know, because we were kind of, you know, we're scripting stuff. Like, oh, what yeah. are we going to do? Like, how are we going to play this? And you're like, well, I could just, I was like, oh, that ties into the music. I'm That's ready. <laughs> uh, like how all of that. <laughs> so and we good. have some thoughts how we can actually augment this particular shirt. We did. Like I said, so if people are interested, kind of want this shirt, we have some ideas. Okay. We have some ideas that will keep it true to what we're talking about. Like I said, but yeah, Jav will have the uh, will have the OG because he was uh, kind enough to and he <laughs> put might, up with all of this nonsense. And he probably, from what we he he has seen, or he knows probably that it's happened. I think he knows that it's okay. happened. I saw Guardy now was right. kind enough to go over there and drop into his chat okay. for a minute, so that was uh, that was very cool. So I think he probably <laughs> has an idea. I had told him last week. Because I, I think when he initially did it, I was like, okay, it'll be this Thursday. And then when, like I said, things fell through last week, I messaged him and I was like, hey, I'm like, I don't know what you were doing tonight anyway, but like, just so you know, it's going to be a week later. And he's like, oh, okay. He's like, we were doing raids anyway. And that's what we're doing. Well, I paid too much attention to this and missed my raid call. What? Oh my God. <laughs> Will they call back? That's you don't, it's, is it really a miss when you know you had been sitting there for three or four hours anyway, right? Did you finally get through like a decent raid? Thoughts? I thought I saw smoke coming from Andrew's ear thinking too much. Oh, I mean, that's always wow. true. Yeah. It's like, uh, I smell wood burning. Must be a thought going oh, on. Or it's a beverage being smoked. Oh, that could be. Is that just your, uh, is that your, your jerky? Is that what you're talking? <laughs> well, jerky and a little bit too much there, Guardian. Smoking the jerky. Finished a raid in 75 minutes yesterday. Did all the triumphs. Wow. Nice, Frosty. There you go. Well, now stick with that group. Because all it was the other day was complaining about raids taking four hours and everything else. Wiped a few times because we failed triumphs uh, or it would have been faster. Nice. Well, there you go. Stick with that one. That is the group for you. Um, all right. So we've got a bunch of craft sodas. Uh, speaking of Frosty, like I said, that he recommended. Yeah. It's uh, good not, not all Frosty of these specifically, here. but this from this brewery saying that they do really good stuff. Right. So we had been wanting to try some. And you kind of found them in the oddest of places. It was quite strange. Actually, so yes. where did you find them? Uh, I found them at Ace Hardware. Interesting. Very interesting. I walked in, I uh, was looking to, uh, I had some uh, toilet uh, flappers I had to replace. Okay. Was, was this in the same aisle? Water leaking. No, it was, yeah. Okay. <laughs> that was a special flavor they had. And so I, I knew the aisle I was looking for. I found what I wanted to get. I walk in and I'm turning to go check out and I was like, 
son of a, I was like, oh my God, this is this record. I'm like, this, I know this is what we were talking about. And yeah, they had like, they had a whole bunch of other things. And I've bought at Ace Hardware, it's odd. They have like, I've seen Sarsaparilla there. I've seen all kinds yeah, they of different like, things there. Right. And in fact, uh, uh, Eric's Gasson's daughter, I work with her. And right. We were talking about, because there's another guy that I work with who, uh, he actually has a soccer podcast that he does with a, a friend of his. And oh, so okay. we're, he's, he's saying, oh, I heard you do a podcast. So he's like, what, what's your latest podcast? And I said, well, we're getting together tonight and we're going to do these sodas and, uh, and that I got at Ace Hardware. And she's like, Ace Hardware has the most amazing surprise beverage selection. <laughs> and they do. It's just, it's, it's so weird. And yeah, so yeah, I turned the... Turned the corner and there they were and I, I bought them and then the, the woman who rang them up for me, she's like, yeah, there's some like really weird flavors of sodas over there too, like meatloaf or something. I don't know. She was saying some other. That sounds like a Jones soda kind of thing because they make some weird I, stuff. Yeah. She's like, you didn't get any of those. And I said, no, no. I said this. I said, I was surprised to see these. We've been talking about wanting to try these. So. So yeah, so yeah. what we are talking about is, let's see if the graphic actually comes up this time. For some reason, that part is not working, so that's fine. We will click on the button manually. Boom, Get right there. there. Whoa, look at that. We've got four sodas here from uh, Sprecher Brewery. Uh, like, again, recommended by, recommended by Frosty here in chat, uh, at least his brewery in general. Yes. Um, also a brewer of beer as well. That's true. I did not that know is that. True. Yeah. Yes. Um, so we have a cream soda that is fire brewed. We'll talk about what that means in just a second. Uh, we have Orange Dream, which is also fire brewed. We have a grape, which is not. Uh, and then we have a ginger ale, which is fire brewed. Um, so I actually had to look what that up, up that was. I was like, I didn't know if they were just creating a term out of nowhere or whatever right. else. Uh, but fire brewing, uh, just means the ingredients aren't just poured into a tank and mixed at room temperature and bottled. They are actually brewed with fire. Uh, like I said, not Fire. everybody does it that way. The soda brews Fire. for hours and the Fire. heat caramelizes the sugars and gives the soda a silky smoothness. So a little more body, we would think, out of these, a little more creaminess to it. So that should be uh, kind of interesting. So what, what order, which one do you think we should start with? I don't know why I'm thinking grape should be last. That's kind of what I was thinking. So I thought okay. cream soda yeah. and then one of these two, either the ginger ale or the orange dream. I'm thinking maybe... I think the ginger ale should overpower this, shouldn't it? <laughs> Use the roll of toilet paper doing my jerky, rye my jerky today. Oh my God, sir. <laughs> Easy. Uh, <laughs> you be okay? You need a minute? <laughs> yeah. Sushi, no, hi. Good to see you. I don't know if we have the sushi. appropriate uh, you know, labeling for our channel right now. I was thinking maybe <laughs> cream into... Dream. No, never mind. Oh, okay. uh, <laughs> so, yeah. I would Wait, say don't the, you dream and then you cream? Oh, oh maybe. Oh, oh, no. no. Stop. <laughs> But yeah, I, the cream soda was, should be first and then, okay. Yeah. Either the, yeah. Right. Probably the ginger ale then, and then orange on top of that. Okay. So you think almost the order I have them yeah. in here on the screen. I, I thought maybe you did that on purpose. I, I think I was guessing a little bit when I created okay. that, like I said, I wasn't sure about where the orange dream should be. Like it, that this was is our Sprecher sure. arc. <laughs> it's our Sprecher arc. Our Sprecher <laughs> soda arc. Our Sprecher soda arc. Uh, and they're all yeah. brewed with honey, right? Wisconsin honey. I, I think that is like, yeah, the base for the, the sugar in all yeah. of these. Um, we will look at each one to see if there's something uh, majorly different, but I'll grab the cream soda first. Um, I am not usually a huge fan of cream soda. I'm going to start out with that. Okay. It is not one that I, I go for. Honey, yes. All right. Honey, proceed. yes. Okay. Oh, were you talking to me? Always said a honey. good thing to say. Honey, I thought, yes. I thought he was calling me honey. <laughs> I, I do like cream soda. It's usually a little too sweet, but I don't drink a lot of it, but... Um, Cream soda only if it's clear. We'll find that out. That is interesting. We're going to find that out right now. Made with honey, natural honey, antioxidants. Um, I heard someone talking about that. If you have a honey that is, uh, this is on Twitter, so this could be completely false. But they were talking about that if you um, have local honey to the area, like stuff that is actually made locally from bees, that if you have like a spoonful or two of that when like allergy and pollen season comes around, that that actually helps you with your allergies because it's almost like you... It's like an Iocane powder thing where you build up like in a little bit of an immunity yeah. to it because have you ever heard that before? I have heard that. Okay. Yes. But is it, it, is, be it, like is it complete very local? BS? No, I, I could, I don't know. It's gotta be from your backyard. I don't <laughs> okay. know if it, yeah, right. I don't know if it is or it isn't BS. I have heard that it can't just be honey in general. It has to obviously to kind yeah. of no, build it has up to, some immunity. It has, Cause you're grabbing the pollen your, from right, that area right. specifically. Did I miss the flex? You did. Well, we'll show you one more time. There's there. that. There you go. That's that's the uh, exclusive shirt that Jav will be uh, 
will be getting. He'll be getting whatever size he chooses. We're not going to make yes. him take that shirt. Signed if he so chooses or not. But yeah, I will be posting that back up there as well. I definitely don't want Backyard's Pollen. I wouldn't want his no, pollen either. Pollen. Conan. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, yeah, we will, we will get that clip out there though too because Jav obviously is uh, busy helping out his uh, team with raids and things. So they will have to see it there as well. All right, let's get this one open. I am excited to start drinking some sodas. Um, I think most of these as well um, from what Frosty had said, I'm going to see on here, are caffeine free or I don't know if it says on here specifically. It also freaks me out because it says Glendale, Wisconsin. And I keep thinking Glendale, Arizona. Oh, I didn't know okay. there was another yeah. Glendale. Um, Wisconsin. Handcrafting, gluten-free. Oh, caffeine-free. There it is. All right. So this one at least is caffeine-free. They actually have a picture of a bean with like a line through it. Like no coffee. Like No caffeine. I know. Glendale I'm shocked there's another uh, Glendale. There's I mean, we have the original California. Glendale. Yeah. That's what I'm going to well, say. The caps were not easy opening can. They were not. Oh, I should have checked. I didn't try and... Oh, they are a twist off. I didn't even need to do that. No. Is that clear enough? I, I don't, don't know. think that's... Well, it's not clear as in like water clear. It's... Looks like cream soda. To I would me. say it looks like ginger ale. <laughs> ginger ale is usually a little more golden. This is a little more that's brown. That's true. But... Color of honey? Glendale, California. Oh my God, there's too oh, many yeah. Glendales. Oh, I'm yeah, confused now. Glendale, yeah. Oh my God, they should all be caffeine free. Okay. And this is actually 16 ounces. I was thinking this was 12. How much were these? I'm gonna say 350. I forgot. Okay, perfect. <laughs> but they I, they weren't 350 though. They were cheaper. Yeah, they were cheaper. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna say. I don't remember what I spent that day. <laughs> minus toilet fixings. Yeah, minus the toilet flappers that I had to return because it wasn't the right one. I didn't return the sodas, though. <laughs> uh, I, did, I did return that to another Ace Hardware. I should have checked their supply as well uh, of soda, but I was focused on just my return. Um, I, between two and three. Okay. Uh, I'm fairly certain, so... I just, I, I probably would have paid $5 because I was just so surprised to be like, yeah. ah. <laughs> I've been talking about doing a podcast on these. <laughs> You're like putting them up there and you literally just throw all your credit yeah. cards at them. You're like, however much it takes. Whatever it takes. I need these sodas. I need these and now. I need them now. Yeah. Definitely has that cream soda. That smells actually really good though. It's kind of like I, a toasted marshmallow aroma to yes. it is what I'm getting. Yeah. And that's like, there's a little bit more nuance and depth to there than other just generic cream yeah. soda. That's, that actually smells really good. Oh, that is delicious. Yeah, because it's not <laughs> it's not good. overly sweet. <laughs> no. Sometimes that can go toward the cotton candy. No, there's a there's definitely like the honey yep. and that kind of like depth in there. Yep. That's really good, actually. I would I would drink this. <laughs> that's really tasty. Uh if that's what it took, uh just you know, let me know and I can ship some stuff and you won't be able to get in the stores, at least in stores by you. Oh, okay, sure. We just had to go to a local hardware store to find <laughs> so this is, yeah, this is really good. Yeah. I've not had a lot of cream sodas, but every time I have them, they're usually are too sweet. And it's yeah. just like, yeah, this has like a little extra. There's like, again, I don't, maybe it's because of the honey. There's like a little toasted note kind of going like almost like the graham cracker or like I said, if you actually are roasting a marshmallow or something like that, that's, that's delicious. <laughs> that's really good. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, like you just had a good marshmallow or yeah. something like that. Yeah, that's. <laughs> yes, we analyze sodas. Not <laughs> yeah. everything on there. There we go. Alcohol. Yeah, that's yep. the thing. People are, always sure, asking. People are always asking, like some other stuff that we had. Um, let's see. Is there anything else on here about this one? Skillfully brew each bath, Wisconsin honey or gas fired kettle. Uh, richly flavored soda with an exceptionally creamy mouth. It definitely the mouthfeel you notice too. Like it's very soft carbonation too. Yes. I would say it's not like over yep. the top. <clears throat> Nutritional info. Is there a lot of protein and fiber in this? It does say antioxidants. Serving size one bottle. Oh, these are all 16 ounce bottles. Those other ones too. No 300 protein. calories. 2% calcium. Um, huh. 74 grams of carbs. Oh God. Oh, wow. <laughs> I kind of had a feeling, but you know, you gotta, you gotta bulk up for those Wisconsin winners. Of, 60 grams of sugar. 
60 if grams you're trying to added sugar. Well, so total sugar is 60 grams, added. including 60 grams of added sugar. No protein, 2% calcium. Daily value. That's okay. what surprises me. Yeah. Getting Ingredients calcium. carbonated water, glucose syrup, maltodextrin, uh, honey. What's vanillin? Is that like Millie Vanilli, like off brand? Millie Vanillin. Millie Vanillin. How much? Uh, no added. Well, it's just, yeah, 60 grams of added sugar. So 74 mm-hmm. total grams of carbs, 60 grams of that are added sugar, probably like some mostly from the honey. That's 120% of daily value. Uh, the beers are 12. Okay, so the beers are 12 ounce. All the sodas are 16. Okay. I am also very happy. I'm going to say this off the bat that a company like Sprecher, they don't give you a 16 ounce bottle and then claim it's two servings. I'm going to give them props for that there, right I out of the bat. I think things are coming back around to that where there for a while that was, yeah, it would be like a, a, a one and a half servings or two servings, and it'll just say serving size one bottle. Yes. So. If you have a, <clears throat> con- a container you cannot close again, yep. I think you have to have that be like that serving is the serving. Well, there's a, there's a cold press orange juice that I really like at work, and it's only, I think it's only 12 ounces, and it says... Consume unused portion within five days. And it's like, it's 12 ounces. I guess I would think you'd be drinking it in one sitting, but you never know. There's a hilarious uh, bit going around. I showed it to, like I said, uh, to Jay and I was showing it to my wife and stuff like that about speaking of orange juice, talking about pulp. And just like, <laughs> and so I'll show it to you when we take our break. Cause it's not, it's definitely not appropriate for the airways, but it's hilarious. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm a sipper with my small serving size juice. You're like, let's go. That's fine. You gotta use both hands to pick that up. Studio, it's good to see you as well. Good to see everybody here this evening as always. Yeah, this is, this is delicious. (laughs) That's a good start for the thing I was not excited about to already be like, this is good. (laughs) Oh, well, it's good then. Yeah, that we started with that one too. But I think that flavor wise, I'm guessing that's going to be. The only thing is if the, if I'm maybe Frosty can tell us if the ginger ale is really like hot has a lot of ginger heat to it. We should probably do that. Let's well, actually uh, maybe yeah. almost at the end. Yeah, let's actually break already. I'm not having no, a break yet. Breaking. I just now? said when we do. When we break. When we do. Not we are oh breaking. Oh my gosh, Guardian down. You're so ready for us. Morning to leave. has broken. I know you'd like me to take a break and just have you guys sit with Keith. It'd be your ultimate with night. Me and my arm. <laughs> <laughs> the ginger. Okay, so that's what we're gonna ask. So we have. So we have the ginger ale. We have the orange dream, and we have the grape. Which one would you say to try next? Would you try the, if you're Probably. saying the ginger is spicy, would you say the orange dream? <laughs> These are our spit cups. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, we don't need that for soap. We should probably go orange grape ginger then. Sure, the orange. Orange deer. Oh, the God. Oh, deer. okay. The orange. I like he's, he called me honey earlier. De- he yeah. called me deer. deer. Now. I love this frosty. Yeah. You're nice. Oh, he can drink it. <laughs> I, was just, I was actually literally like rinse it. Might as well drink it. <clears throat> orange dir. Yep, orange dir. <laughs> there you go. You got it. <laughs> I I have done that so many times in chat where I like, like type it. something and then you like correct it. Excuse me, and then you've corrected it incorrectly and you fix it again and then you fix it again. <laughs> like God damn it. I had one that so I had my biggest flub the other day. I had, as I always do, trying to support people, had multiple channels open. And I had like a channel of like one much larger streamer open that I was watching and then I had something else. And I think it was, oh, it was actually was Jav's chat that I had open too. I meant to type him a message that he would mostly understand because I was mentioning people's names. I'm like, oh, this happened to this person and they got this. Uh, and it's just, it's just a small little thing. I put it in the big streamers channel and oh. he read it. I was going through. He's, he's like, well, apparently about beverages thinks I know who these three people are. Cause they just said oh. that. And he read it. I was like, oh God damn. Uh, <laughs> I was like, sorry. oops. Yeah. I was like, oops. <laughs> Multi Bears fan, huh? That was a Cardinals cup. Well, cause you've got to go to Cardinal stadium for us to actually see the bears. And that's where we got those cups from. Well, one of them is. One of them is also Arizona Wildcats. That is the other one, too. I may have been having a stroke there. Well, I hope you're okay, Frosty. All right, so it sounds like Orange Dream next, then. Okay. Bears. 
Bears are having a good off season. I didn't want to frighten ever. I didn't want to fight frighten a Wisconsin brewery away if I had my bear shirt on. So that's why I did not wear one this week. <laughs> but maybe next week I'll frighten everyone away. Um, certainly a lot of action. Duh, have they finally traded Aaron Rodgers yet? Is he gone? He's not gone yet. Is he still there? He's still there. He's still waiting for his four other demands to be met by the Jets, I guess, or something. No, I think now it's the two of them have to. Is it just the them Packers deciding the on things? Gotta figure okay. it out. Yeah. I heard the Jets are trying to sign OBJ or something because like, that was also one of his people. He's like, I want God. Odell Beckham Jr. I want Lazarus, and I want a car that is painted the color of snow I don't know. and a loaf of bread, a container of milk, and a stick of butter. <laughs> Wait, no. Wow, I've thought about that forever. <laughs> All right. Orange dream. Orange dream. It's right above your head right now. Oh, wait, no. I see. Also fire brewed. Fire brewed. He will dreams. eventually be the Jets issue, and then the Bears will lose their owner. Wait, oh my God. I hope the Bears don't lose their owner. Well, she's getting old, though. I'm sure they have something in place. They're fine. Do fine. we have to play the Jets again this year? No. That was the whole thing, too. No, They're like, God. we may never play him again because, like... Because we played him this year. We won't play him them next year. And it's like, we basically... You meant Aaron Rodgers on oh, oh yeah yeah that's true he still owns him that's but. true yeah he still did that's how that's how he left With it is Jets. it is what it is that's right it is what it is he 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 knew he was about to lose that ownership so that's why he's leaving that's the best <laughs> I can say but yeah he did that's for, his real reason did, for leaving the Packers exactly he did for who many will years. he not play for the next year oh the Bear won't play the Bear yeah it's so we won't play him this year. And then the only way we would play the Jets next year is like some weird scenario where it's like we both would have to have the same record of some like, you know, because then wow, that's people because, are already doing this math. Well, because it's the math of like because, you you know, you play this divi- like you play this division and then depending on the record, like this other division gets played. And then it's oh, like okay. then there's that extra game or two now. And those are all depending on where your record was. So it's like for that, you'd have to have all that stuff. I don't know. It was confusing. Yeah, at the earliest, it would be like two years, and that's if he winds up staying in the league. Like, who knows? Are these strings distracting? They're anybody else but me? I think they're just distracting you. <laughs> yeah, they're distracting me. Uh, okay, all right, put them back. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, so we'll try... Uh, so so we've got the Sprecher Fire Brewed Orange Dream. We just had the cream soda, and that was delicious from someone that does not like cream soda. That was excellent. That's me that doesn't like cream soda. That's you. I did it again. I actually did not need to use a bottle opener for that, but that one actually opened better. It's more flair and style that way. There you go. And also, you don't want to on screen go, ah, and rip your you know, <laughs> skin of your fingers. <laughs> That's fair. That is fair. <laughs> That's why I did it. I have the hands of a art artist. I don't know. <laughs> That's right. You don't want to. <laughs> Your skilled hands are busy. My skilled hands are busy right now. <laughs> <Fugu>. Exactly. <laughs> that'd be a that'd be a good clip to have. Yeah, fool me. Yeah, <laughs> he owned them so much. Jim McMahon now can see it. Wow. Ice. Oh my god. Vanilla ice cream. Yeah, I bet that would be. Cool. Oh, That's, I bet that would be pretty it's amazing. Nice and orangey. That is the color I was expecting. <laughs> it's the color <laughs> <Yeah>. of orange. <laughs> it smells well, like a cream. Well, that smells like a cream sickle. <laughs> <laughs> that smells delicious. <laughs> The very first, I was like, I thought it was lacking a little bit, but then there's the vanilla. I was just going to say the same thing. At the very, the, the <clears throat> punch at the beginning is like really nice, bright orange, like kind of candied orange. Like I said, a good sweetness to it. Yep. And I thought the same thing. I was like, I was like, oh, it's missing out on some of the vanilla. And then it, oh, there it is. It slides in at the end. It's <laughs> still, I would like a little bit more of the vanilla kind of creaminess yeah. to come through, but that is, that is also really delicious. So quite good. That is still very good. Yeah, but I understand why people, like I said uh, in chat mentioning, if you added this to some vanilla ice cream, that actually probably would be the perfect thing because then you're not overly sweet and then you could add that to it. That would be amazing. Yep. Hence ice cream. Hence. Is that, I, I've never heard of that. Is that like Breyers or uh, Dryers ice cream? Hence, hence brand ice cream. Ice cream. Only in Wisconsin. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hence and Spreckles. <laughs> hence and Spreckles. Spreckles and Hence. Yeah, if you have if you have vanilla ice cream or something on hand, that would be amazing. They should make two versions: one for if you're going to put ice cream with it, and one if you're not. And they just put a little more vanilla in it. We should start a company just and call it Hen's Ice Cream. <laughs> <laughs> also, we'll be getting orders, and we we don't, it doesn't even exist. Yeah, there was a a mash episode years ago with a Captain Tuttle who didn't actually exist for some. I don't even know how it started, but they they like. They just made this 
person up for some reason and all of a sudden everybody's like oh i know captain tuttle he's great you know and then and then oh, they're wanting to like promote familiar. him they're wanting to do all that and then and the, but then, then they had to like kill him off because and then they're the, i knew him best so i should give the eulogy and it was oh, god whole, yeah that's <laughs> it, insane it never really even existed hence hence ice cream hence ice cream yes maybe cedar is cedar crest actually like a very local place that sounds i, I like the name that's a good name HJ, how's it going? Good to see you. Yeah, we had uh, the Prairie Artisan Ales, a Blueberry Boyfriend Sour Ale, which we thought was good. Yes. I have a, and I have a four pack of delicious beer to take home. That sure true. will be delicious. All right. With awesome purple bottle caps, <laughs> which I really like. Yeah, that is, this is delicious. If I had had any left, you could have mixed some of the cream soda into here for that extra creamy like marshmallow. Ooh. That might have been. That might Ooh, have been the combo. Had, we should have kept a little bit of all of them left up. Damn it. Ah. Yeah, I don't know if it would have worked with the grape and the ginger. But City so neighboring town, uh, the one I grew up. Oh, the neighboring town is where you Oh, nice. I'm guessing, That's Frosty, cool. you would recommend us to go to the grape then next, as opposed to the ginger ale. Very close to the brew. Oh, wow, that's, that sounds perfect. Yeah, so grape over the ginger ale first. Da, 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 da. Mm. That sounds good. I'll have that. <laughs> that sounds good. I'll have that. So it was a yeah. successful though. Uh, Destiny. Uh, yeah, yeah. It was a lot ventures. of a lot of fun. A lot of like I said, obviously a lot of work. Getting <laughs> get tired. Evening, gentlemen. Done, done. How's it going? Good to see you. How are you doing this fine evening? Yeah, Destiny was good. Like I said, uh, the raid stuff was was fun. It was grueling. Grueling several days. Very very tiring doing all that stuff. And then now just kind of just back into just. Still getting things done, but not not the pressure. The purple caps, those have extra. A little, little something extra on there. A little something extra. A little something something. Have you branched out at all from JoJo's uh, Bizarre Adventure, like any other uh, like anime that you've uh, gone No, we into? did just finish it, though. We oh. finished the final season. Yeah. Is there any more? There is done? nothing at, at this point. There is nothing else. Okay. In that there is, um, uh, Ben was telling us about a little like four episode offshoot of one of the characters from one of the seasons that he said, yes, yeah, like four episodes. You should watch that. So we're going to check that out. Um, but the, the actual, um, Jojo's amazing adventures. We've there got all amazing the adventures. That's yes. Right. We have got gotten all the way through. There was a new, uh, a new, like kind of mid set, patch came out for the tft yesterday. oh really so uh, came out yeah yesterday so we've been it's kind of cool i i like it when it's like completely revamped but it's also nice like this one is like mostly the same but adding enough new stuff and okay. different traits so we've just begun to we've only just begun <laughs> sharing some tft just the two of us <laughs> uh, going to lexington tomorrow for the weekend gonna check out some of the breweries oh done done you'll have to report back when you are done when i'm gonna go downtown gonna see my girl uh yeah i would love to hear about that that's super cool do you have ones already like marked that you're gonna try and go to or just mm -hmm. gonna kind of let let the the road take you as it as it were like it's like oh that place isn't as busy i'll go in there <laughs> I saw I had a video today that came up on my feed and it was someone that was uh, they were in. I think they were in England and they were going to all all English pubs that were like it was, you know, they just made like a thing out of it, like all English pubs that were owned by like movie stars and musicians and stuff like that. So they were going like it was like Guy Ritchie's pub that he owns. It's near this place and all that. kind of. And then they were just kind of like quickly rating them and showing, you know, prices and stuff like that. Uh, Idris Elba, he was like, oh, I didn't go in there. Idris Elba owns a wine bar. And he's like, he's like, I don't know enough about wine, so I'm not going to spend $80 on a bottle of wine. But there's his, there's his place. And it was like, <laughs> so it was kind of cool. Oh, my god. 72 grams added sugar in the grape. I bet that is delicious. Is that one? Oh, How nice. Good the using the link. Uh, let's click on that one and find out. Here I got that go. one next right here. Uh, I'm sure this one is the same. Uh, oh, this one's not as bad. Uh, oh, 48. 240 calories. Total carbs, 60, 48 grams of added sugar. <laughs> That's 96% of your daily sugar value FDNC in one thing. FDNC yellow number six and FDNC red number 40. I thought I tasted red 40. Oh, I thought I got it. But it, I, I wasn't sure if it was the 39 or the 40. You did hear some TFT. My brother and uh, his wife play uh, quite a bit of the TFT. She could be playing right now. It's very possible. possible. She has us on in the background. As she lurks. <clears throat> 
what has been your go? Have you been switching up some of your go-to uh, characters that you're using or your strategies or like, what have you been? I know you were all, what's, I forget the name of it every time. What's the thing where you guys can kind of play together? Double up. Double up. Have you guys yeah. still been doing that mostly or have you dove yeah. back into rank ups and stuff? Yep. Yep. Haven't played in a couple months, uh, but me and my friend enjoy it. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. There's a new, uh, a, a new release. I, I don't know the technical. A new patch? Patch of some sort. Yes. Update? Mid set, subset, mid sub, I don't know. Something. It's new. A lot of the same builds and, ca- and champions, but then they've added some and taken some off. It's, uh, but it just gives it a little bit. Have you spent any money on it more. at all? Not yet. Oh, okay. I didn't know if like, cause you can buy like skins and stuff like that, right? Yeah. Like if characters yeah. look different. And- yeah. Pocket has, but like just to give gifts and things like that for, uh, friends and things, but not yet. He did say yet. Yet. As yet. in he might. Yeah. And yet, not yet. Not yet. I is my yet. answer too. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Dun, dun. Not yet. All right. So we're thinking the grape then. The things we'll do for our channel, all this sugar we are consuming. Oh my God. Well, at the end of this, we'll have had two of these. So we'll have had like a hundred gram or 120 <laughs> grams of sugar. Ooh. Guess I don't need a crumble cookie later. <laughs> yeah. I saw you're making a crumble cookie run. I did. I had one, uh, when, when one of our, my coworkers was transferring to another store and it had like pretzels and potato chips on it. Kind of good. Got that salty sweet thing going. Mm. Oh, so grape is the one we're going to do next then. Not ginger ale. Grape. Grape. I guess the grape, the ginger ale must be hot. It's hot. It's spicy. (laughs) So spicy. Uh, Let's see here. If that grape is good, might have to get some. Though, like I said, I am not a huge fan of cream sodas, but the first one we had, the cream soda was really good. Really Um, good. Really good. Oh, I have that somewhere. No, I don't. (laughs) <laughs> we'll do that one instead. Um, there it is. Really good. Yeah, the cream really soda good. one was, was really, and I don't like cream soda. And then this one was also was good. This one, I thought there was like, again, the vanilla was probably just slightly less, but like Frosty said, it's almost like it's made to be put with some uh, some vanilla ice cream. But even yeah. without it, that kind of layers in at the end. So that was that one is also pretty tasty. Pretty tasty. All right, so that was the orange, so the grape. Um... What does the ginger ale say about that one, too? I just want to look at that quick. <laughs> <laughs> Jay likes his ginger ale spicy. Yeah, maybe you can make a Moscow mule out of Jay this. Jay's getting upset. Um, oh, the ginger ale is nice. Only total carbs, 39 grams. Okay. 30 so that grams. one's going to be all the right. lowest of all of them. The, the least amount of that. The ingredients. Uh, phosphoric added. Natural ginger flavor. Okay, so that one could be spicy. I'm glad there's no color. The cream in that soda one. was was delicious. Like I said, it was really good. It had like a. It wasn't just really as normal. Good. It was really good. It did not have quite as much natural, really good, uh, sweet as uh, <laughs> normally you would expect. It was like I said. It kind of had a. Like I said, it was almost like there was graham cracker, or like a roast, like a marshmallow being toasted or something. There was a little added depth that was really cool. I think. Yeah, the grape soda. Not fire roast. Total carbs, seventy nine grams in the grape soda. Oh my goodness, Dear Lord. I know those Wisconsin winters are cold, but damn. <laughs> Lots of sugar. <laughs> sugar and fat. This actually has one gram of protein in the grape, too. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Very good. Where do you get your calcium from? Well, I get 2% from every grape soda that I have, so I have to <laughs> is have there, Oh, is there some in there? There is 2% okay. daily value yeah, The other calcium. one had that, too. All right. <laughs> Carbolo, 79 grams in the grape. Is it, uh, is it a purple or blue number six? What are you and feeling on that? You feeling red. That? Uh, oh, glucose syrup. oh, grape juice from concentrate. Okay, right, carbonated good. water, glucose good. syrup. Uh, has the honey in there again. Sodium benzoate as a preservative, and uh, quinine yuck ex- extract. Quinine. Yeah. quinine. That's how I say quinine too, and also Worcestershire. Quinine. <laughs> Look, it's cold here. <laughs> uh, all right, so grape is next. Let me reach for the grape. Oh. Let's pull it up. No. Speaking of mash and the old knee high, the grape soda. The I had them in the order that we randomly didn't. Oh, wow. The way we wound up doing them. That's interesting. Interesting, interesting. That was Sam's brother. 
Also, Frosty lately has been enjoying uh, Frasier as well. He was saying he was up to season eight or nine, you were thinking, too. All so, right. Very good. Yeah, we haven't gotten back to watching that again for the fourth time. <laughs> Sprecher Fire Brewed Grape Soda and actually has a grape ape on Wait, the label. Wait, but I thought the grape wasn't Fire Brewed. Oh, no. it's the Wait. It's the ginger ale's not. The ginger ale's not. I wonder why that's not. Oh. Huh. Already has too much Maybe heat. Maybe the ginger just would have been too much heat. Yeah. <laughs> Sprecher Fire Brewed Grape Soda. And I've done it again. These are twist again. off caps, but I can't help it. I love a bottle opener. <laughs> Doing it anyway. Should we smoke our grape soda? I, no, I don't kidding. know. I mean, we are in Arizona. It's legal to do that here. It's totally possible. Is grape soda worth smoking? That would be funny, actually. We'll let Frazier settle it. Which civil war was more interesting? Spanish. But I don't have time to prove it. <laughs> Baker, thank you for that redemption. <laughs> Not- Niles' face is like, really? I love that. That is one of my favorite. Like, it's just such a quick, out of context, whatever, Spanish, but I don't have time to prove it. I can smell that grape already. I could as soon as I was pouring. Yeah, the grape aroma just came through. It was like, that's. My mouth is watering, literally smelling that. I love, I do love grape soda. I love Uh, me some grape soda too. Ooh, that's. (laughs) It's like, it's making my mouth water. Yeah. I, I need a drink of it right now. Yum. It's delicious. <laughs> That's really good. Shocking. 79 grams of sugar. So it's, delicious. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. This is really, this is really well, good. Pocket, I can stop by Ace Hardware on the way home and pick one up. Such a weird thing no, to that. We'll that's go. where we can get it locally yeah. here in Southern Arizona. But yeah, this is, this is really good. I actually think I have an Ace gift card or something. I don't know. Something they sent us that expires this month. So, yes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, that is, that is fantastic. You feel like a kid again drinking grape Kool Aid. I mean, this, uh, yeah, it's kind of in that in that ballpark. Obviously, a lot better than that, but yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah it feels like a kid again drinking grape soda. Th- that's where I bought this. Was it <laughs> in Southern Arizona at our Ace Hardware store? <laughs> yeah, because yeah, we had been talking about it, and like I said, Frosty had been going on about it, and I was like, man, I really want to try this. We were looking; we could get it shipped to us. He'd even offered to get us some bottles. I was like, well, I want to try and find it here because it was just more expensive. Because you thought Total Wine, I think you said Total Wine has Total Wine says it, but that might also be because they have the beer. So I hadn't gotten there. And then it was, yeah, a couple weeks ago uh, when we were on a little bit of a hiatus, all of a sudden Keith was like, look what I found. And there was four. I was like, where'd you get him? He's like, Ace Hardware. Yep. So, yeah. No, there this they is were. shockingly, uh, actually not shockingly at all. This is, yeah, this is delicious. <laughs> this is delicious. The and sugar helps. I could go yes. down a terrible sugar rabbit hole with all this, but. Oh, yeah, well, no, and I would have bought one if, because I, I, I think I bought one of every flavor they had, so. Never even got to try their best, so, the, yeah, and I love a good root, like a good root beer, I absolutely love. They have it at a local discount store near me. I mean, I would try it. If you like any of these kind of flavors, uh, Guardian Down, if you haven't had them yet, definitely give these a shot. These are, yeah, these are, these are great. If you want to send your kids bouncing off the walls as well, you could give them like a little bit right before bed. <laughs> We've got some cleaning to do tonight. Maybe when I get home, I'll be like vacuuming and <laughs> like uh, in uh, something about Mary <laughs> after, you know, and he, Oh yeah. He, what is it? And Oh, uh, what's her name is like going really fast vacuuming. She's lifting up the couch. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, Their website says Walmart has them here. So I, yeah, when we had searched as well, it, it mentioned that for us. And then when I at least went to my local Walmarts, it didn't like it. I don't, Maybe it had the root beer, but it didn't, it didn't like show up. Like it was one of those things where like I could order it and get it to the store, but they didn't have it like, you know, go in and pick it up kind of, at least for us. It's just one of those weird things. How does, I I mean, I know Ace is a national chain, so maybe they have it at all the, it could be stores, you know, nationwide for whatever reason, but yeah, the thing, I mean, it's, it's weird because it's got 79 grams of what, 79 grams of sugar? 72 grams of sugar. This one, yeah. But it's not like sickeningly sweet in taste. And I don't know if that's because no, of the honey. No, it's just the right amount of balance. That. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's Good. just the right amount of balance. There's a little depth there. Menards. It's got, like I said, there's a little more body to it. Like I said, I don't know if, like, again, playing into, you know, how they actually prepare this. I think that does make a difference. The carbonation is not over the top. Uh, like I said, it's just, like, everything is just the kind of yeah. right amount in here. And there's great balance. Like, yeah, these are just... Again, I know it's a lot of sugar, but man, they're, del- they're absolutely delicious. 
<laughs> we have an ace here because I'll check there. Too many of those to give me a headache, I bet. Yeah, I know. Like, uh, this is definitely more sugar than I would normally have in a day. Yeah. With just the first two that we had, let alone uh, once we finish these, we'll have had the equivalent of two whole bottles. Oh, the headache. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I'll probably need some. But this uh, is what we do for you, our listeners, is, viewers, subscribe, all of you all out there. there. Yeah. That's right. And, you know, this shirt. But, you know, <laughs> hey, <clears throat> Adidas, they have now sponsored the, the show. Oh. This shirt. <laughs> you just like zipping it. And I do. I hope you practice. Hopefully, if you wear that next week, you don't forget that you don't have a shirt on underneath it, and you keep it like, oh, yeah, oh no, wait, no, oh. TOS. <laughs> yeah, no, that's. Hmm. But at least we saved the low sugar one for last. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Did we work up in terms of sugar? <laughs> I definitely am glad we made the switch. Like I said, that was definitely right in terms of flavor. I miss the initial taste as grape and good. Grape is good. Grape, you know, grape, grape good. is really good. Yeah. Grape also like the other grape ones. Good. Again, it's it's sweet, but it's not too sweet. There's a like I said again. There's a little more extra depth of flavor there. The body is <laughs> yeah. It's for a soda. It is definitely you can tell the craft behind it. Sixty forty eight seventy two thirty. Okay, hike. Uh, hike. Uh, 40, Actually, this jacket's years. 10 years old. Wow. Got it in Las Vegas. <laughs> On purpose? Yeah. Or you just have, I mean, you know, if you're like, I need a jacket. I'm in Vegas. Yeah. Where uh, is there an we Adidas store? In, so, yeah, there was an Adidas store right okay. along the strip there. And we were just, you know, spending some time and uh, <laughs> shopping. And, yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, no, it was, yeah, it's held up, held up pretty well. <clears throat> we were there for the monster truck jam that we went to with. Uh, some, uh, some, well, so when Ben played soccer and when he, um, did the, uh, there was the, um, the science challenge thing that he did. Oh, okay. We had gotten to be friends with some people, uh, you know, one of the other couples, uh, and their kids. And then, you know, they all played and got along. Um, we went to a diamondbacks game with them and we won the, uh, 50, 50 raffle. Oh, I remember. Okay. Cause, I remember that story. Yeah, Cause yeah, we yeah. said, if we win, what are we going to do? And, and they had, they had talked, Oh yeah, we like to go to monster truck jam, which surprised us to look. Cause to look at them, you'd be like, really? You yeah. guys go? They're like, yeah, we like to go to that and, and you should come. And we're like, all right, if we win, we're going to the monster truck jam with you guys in Vegas next <laughs> that was year. It's the only time you hoped you never would and win so money. <laughs> You're all, that is unfortunate. You're all, you know what? You can just have the money. <laughs> I'm, you you're know all, what? I'm, you're it's still coughing up fumes. We, we all, we all said it's not something we'd do again, but it was kind of cool to see those trucks do what they did. Did you wear earplugs? Uh, I don't think I did. Wow. Uh, you're a brave man. Probably should have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No story like you won it in a card game and took it off some poor soul. Yeah, no, no. That would have been a good one. No, I, bought I was it. playing blackjack a little off the strip. If you get my names, I'd already lost the shirt warm on my summer's back. evening <laughs> on a train bound for nowhere. Oh, nice. Met up with the Adidas. We were both too tired to sleep. <laughs> yeah. That's such a well-written song, though. It is a great song. I also like the uh, Muppet version of it too. Oh, I haven't. Uh, not familiar with that. You haven't seen when it was when he was on the Muppet Show. No. Really? Yeah. Oh, it's great because it's the whole set is them. They're on the train and you see it going by, and <laughs> nice. it's, he sits down and and there's a oh, Muppet Muppet I that have. plays like the old man part. That's the only thing that's huh. weird is that the Muppet then sings some of the stuff that he normally would have. Oh, Cause he's okay. like, cause he does the like, okay. he's like, you know, he'll do the, I can see you're out of ACs. Yeah. If you, so I gave him, my, as long as it's not Kermit singing. My last <laughs> yeah. For a taste of your whiskey. <laughs> yeah. I'll give you some advice. <laughs> <laughs> you see Kermit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he bummed a cigarette. <laughs> And asked me for a light. <laughs> so I'm guessing it wasn't Kermit in that role. Uh, that's funny. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> that's just. <laughs> Put up a little sign. Excuse me, technical difficulty. <laughs> Andrew's laughing too. Yeah, oh, that's that's <laughs> outstanding. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> got to know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. Know when to fold them. <laughs> know when to walk away. 
and know when to run or hop. <laughs> no when to hop. <laughs> no when to hop. <laughs> no when to swim. Okay, I don't want to. I, it's good. I got to like George. Not, you, got a, you got a George. You got a George. You got to get out. You've got it. You got one more in there, and that's it. I heard uh, <laughs> the last farewell today, Roger Whitaker. Oh, you are beautiful. We've talked about that. Before. Oh yeah. And I I looked him up. And his birthday was yesterday. He's 87 years old. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I guess you really you don't, don't need alcohol. You do not. No, you just need you to be hopped up on sugar. <laughs> on sugar. sugar. <laughs> yeah. On, on delicious. Sugar, alcohol, or weed. Those grape big sugar. <laughs> First you get the sugar. <laughs> then you get the power. <laughs> then you get the weed. <laughs> oh, it's always good when we can incorporate a little Scarface. Throwback there. Scarface uh, <laughs> Simpsons, Simpsons throwback. throwback. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that is that is good. Don't need alcohol to have fun. Uh, yeah, I can't remember what season that was, but yeah, that was always one of my favorites because that was a good song. And then yeah, I'm tying that. And it was not very, It was well written. Muppet. It was like, I think it was like an unknown like Muppet. <laughs> the unknown Muppet. <laughs> no one <laughs> off. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> no one to fall. No <laughs> one to <laughs> And that's what you guys need to know when you're making beer. No when to hop. Oh, wow. Yeah, no oh, my God. Hop. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> oh, my God. This guy. <laughs> Do I need a permit for a link? Uh, probably just in case. Give me one second. Uh, oh, yeah. No. There you go. I got you right here. Oh, did you find it? Oh, no, you clipped it. <laughs> oh. <advice. laughs> uh, the bots like the bot. They do. Like I said, they shouldn't with clips like that. It's so silly. But like I said, sometimes they have done that stuff. So I appreciate you asking. Not that I wouldn't unban you immediately. Dun, dun. <laughs> it's already it's already clipped. Kermit advice. So I gave him my as long as it's not Kermit singing. Yeah. <laughs> For a taste of your whiskey, <laughs> I'll give you some advice. <laughs> that was pretty good, actually. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you see Kermit reach for that. <laughs> uh, he bummed a cigarette <laughs> and asked me for a light. <laughs> so I'm guessing it wasn't Kermit in that role. Uh, that's funny. <laughs> That's great. Thanks, Dun Dun. That's awesome. Uh, yeah. That's good. That Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Sometimes <laughs> it happens. That is hilarious. It could be our next seven or fifty thousand dollar point shirt. Kermit. <laughs> Kermit. <laughs> Bumming a cigarette, asking for a light. Now we, yeah, that's what we <sighs> need in his bottle. It's a clip like that that we need to have on a shirt. <laughs> oh yeah. He said for the QR code. <laughs> you gotta know oh, when to hold it. No. Where the phone? All right, I'm gonna put the that over there. Okay. Oh, so you're going to just I'm gonna try gonna and actually, I mean, yeah, I'm going to crack your, my knuckles trying to open it a little nice bit. and calloused. Fingers. All right. We're going to end with the heat. End my with God, the, the heat. heat. My God, the heat. <clears throat> the palate cleanser before the ginger ale. For the finisher. Probably after after all this, if we actually opened up the uh, Pepsi that I have in the fridge, you'd be like, there's no taste to this. <laughs> it's Pepsi Nitro. We could, are any of these pilk worthy? No, probably not. Oh, God. And we'd have to ask Tiddly <laughs> if any of these are pilk worthy. Um, what does this also say on here? Handcrafting, gluten free. Oh, this one's kosher. Ah, kosher for Passover or just kosher? No, okay. <laughs> just for Passover. <laughs> oh, I tasted on pilk. I hope you all get a good night's sleep tonight. Oh, my. 539,000 away. Oh, my God. Okay. The ginger ale will cleanse the palate just fine. Okay. Double check for full info here. I, th- I didn't think. Ooh, would this make a, what would we make with this? A hype ball? No, you said Moscow Mule? Moscow Mule, like, I mean, because usually a lot of people wind up using, uh, like, you know, 
So it's the actual name of it, chat, cock and bull, like ginger brew or something like okay. that, or reeds or, or the really good one, the Trader Joe's one is excellent. Oh, the that triple one. ginger? Yeah. Brew? That, that yeah. one's seasonal though, right? It is. Yeah. That's unfortunate. I still have one of those sitting in my I'm going to bounce you off every wall in this office. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Try yeah. it and you'll be walking funny tomorrow. <laughs> or should I say funny? Funnier. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there could be a little bouncing off the wall here. All right. Final of the four Sprecher... <laughs> Final of the four Sprecher craft sodas that we've been trying this evening. We've got the ginger ale craft soda. This one is not fire brewed. So I don't know if that makes it any less. This is the first one I'm actually got. I can't. Oh my God. I should have just used the bottle opener. I can't. It's going to. This one's not. This one you do need a bottle opener for. <laughs> you saw Andrew shred his fingers. I think this one Why is here? the only one that actually needs the bottle opener. I'm not messing with you. <laughs> I'm going to look at it when I open it up, but I. No, that one showed. I just have very weak hands, apparently. You have to really want it. I didn't, and I you didn't really want it. <laughs> I yeah. didn't really. I did not. <laughs> Do you really want it? <laughs> it turned into Do Ricky really Martin all of a sudden. It? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Uh, uh. I think there's some bits of stuff in there, too. <laughs> bits of guy? Little bits of ginger. Bits of ginger, okay. Bits of ginger. Bits of ginger, ginger bits. <laughs> twist caps uses bottle opener. It's not that was that's the most painful twist cap I've ever used. Mm. So, <laughs> like that one, like literally was about to shred my hand. So I was like, yeah, uh, I, open I need no a game way. tomorrow. I can't can't <laughs> yeah. have my hand messed hey, up. Yeah, that's right. You're these hands are lethal weapons. Those are your. That's right. It's your bread and butter right there. It's like red butter. Yeah, it ain't this. It's, it's this. <laughs> well, that's what you put. Well, it's this. It's this. It's it's your persona. You finish it's your online persona. <laughs> My wife. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how you. Uh, you mean you're like interacting, talking, entertaining? You're doing that like the whole day. I am. Ah, that's that's a lot. lot. Yeah. I don't I know how to. they put up with it. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. Adult online male entertainer. I'm going to have to change my thing. I always tell people like, oh, you do, I do content creation, YouTube, is and I'll start doing that. Adult online male entertainer. I like that. A-O-M-E. A adult online. He's talking male. not too entertaining. There you go. That's what we needed. You guys bring the entertainment. <clears throat> Aroma is really good. Like I said, definitely very strong ginger flavor. It looks like there's still pieces of ginger in there. Yep. No professor or Marianne, which is ginger. <laughs> Fortunately. Gilligan. Skipper. <laughs> hey, it's Fryler. That's, I know yeah. him. You know him. <laughs> I know that guy. I know him. <laughs> it's like Santa. I know him. <laughs> I know him. Yeah, it is a little bit of that. How's it going? Good to see you again. Yeah. All right. Cool. That's right. I didn't see you at work today. So good. You're. Wait, I did see you at work. You started at two o'clock. He's no, there right now. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. No. There's, there's people watching kidding. in the back. He's yeah. like, what? <laughs> it's in the frozen section. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm watching someone I work with. I'm interacting with a with, with about beverages. <laughs> can you hold this? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll okay, okay, I'm gonna ring up your groceries. Would you just hold this for me so I can watch? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thanks. That'd be funny. I keep forgetting to show you that there's the bit that I had seen for Trader Joe's where it was like, they're like the guys like ringing stuff up and he's like, oh, eggs. I've heard about these. I should give it, are these good? And the guy's like, yeah, they're eggs. And it's like, it's like they, he keeps it safe for like, you know, because people are always making conversation. Right. Like when I bought some, oh, I should try. Oh, we still have these? Like, it was like, okay, got it. But yeah, you know, so he's like, oh, eggs. Yeah, I've heard about these. And then like, yeah, they're eggs. Well, are they really good? And then the guy's like, yeah, they are. They're really good. <laughs> well, there are different types of eggs, yeah. to be fair. <clears throat> so, uh, there are break times in the bathroom. That's true. I don't know. Does Trader Joe's have bathroom breaks? Yeah. I mean, th there's a lot of, well, there's a lot of flexibility built into most I of your day. I need to pee. Yeah. Yeah. You just, you don't have to say it's, well, that's one of the things that like, especially, um, it'll remind me of, um, Shawshank Redemption. You know, remember when he goes to work? Yeah, so, yeah. You know, it's like it just you don't right. have to ask me every you can time. Just, yeah, you can just say, "Hey, I, just, I need to step away for a second. Okay, cool. No. But I do appreciate the people, the communication that the intent is appreciated. Just, so you, know, you don't you have don't to go looking to, for him, banging on a stall. Yeah. Hey, hey, where are you? Come back here. 
Um, <clears throat> those tar Dallas aces aren't going to stock themselves. We still, <laughs> we still do what we, uh, during COVID times, um, you know, when everybody's still trying to figure out what exactly, and we still are, but right. when we knew even less than we know now, um, we took, uh, ha- every half hour, if you were on a register up or up front, you got to take a break. Oh. And, but that's one of the things that I, you know, I, th- I think we learned a lot of things that we could do. Um, you know, more people work from home nowadays. There's a lot of good that did come, come from it. And, and so that's too. one of the things that I think is cool, but that we still do is we give people a break. Not everybody wants it, but it's nice. You get to you can walk away, you maybe get, use the restroom, grab a, you know, get a cup of coffee or whatever, just real quick. And you're gone for like, you know, two there's a lot of mental five stuff minutes that's and going on for that little bit. You was, just need to walk away for that. Like I said, having that little bit of time is nice. It was super necessary during those early, that first year even, because it could get very intense running a register and you know, you're nervous about the whole thing and you, their other customers are nervous and sometimes they handle that better than right. <laughs> some customers were better about that than others. Some discussions you'd get into that could just be like, Ooh, I just need to walk away for a few. Yeah. And so I'm, I'm glad we still, still do that with a different benefit now, but so I would not have my job if COVID didn't happen uh, and the proliferation of work from home. Yeah. Like I said, I think that's, uh, it's, uh, I think it's sad the amount of jobs that have been proven that they can be work from home and are still as functional, if not even more with, yeah. uh, you know, all those different kinds of like, you know, the, the data that has yeah. been put out there of less people calling in sick and still getting their jobs done effectively and be able to do that kind of stuff. And then you see companies still trying to bring back into the office because they're just old, stupid people that just don't understand that. It's like, you don't need to be in the office for this job in particular. Like yeah. it's ridiculous. You know, that mentality just needs to be changed. It's like the mentality of the cable company, you know, where it's like right. how things just, well, this is how they work. This is how it's like, well, no, there's a new yep. way to do this. And it's as effective, if not more keeps everyone friendly, having that little break. Yeah. I think that helps with your own disposition toward the customer. And if you're making yep. it better for the customer, that's hundred percent what you want to be doing. Yeah, Unfortunately, Friar and I, we can't do our jobs from home. <laughs> you just have to like, figure it out let's like, do it like was it the uh, modern family when phil's just yeah. got his ipad walking around you could just have your ipad thing and you just tell people to like scan all their stuff i guess you stuff. could helms from home yeah yeah <laughs> hey can you please show me your... sure mm. surprised that you guys haven't started doing like self-check- <laughs> self-checkout for people that just want like a couple things or that that hasn't been discussed I'm like, obviously you wouldn't want everything being like that and i'm not saying it maybe hasn't been discussed but that's kind of the the Trader Joe thing was that even at, as, as we were starting to come out of this was that, yeah, a lot of customer, a lot of companies are still trying to keep people out and keep them away. And we're like, no, come back in. Come on. Let's, you know, that's the Bring interaction. Your poor, that's you're the, tired. You're sickness. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Remote helm sounds great. Exactly. There you go. Going, gathering carts in the parking lot with that little, <laughs> that little robot thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we haven't really talked about this. No, no, we haven't. Wait, think? we're supposed to be friendly? Yeah, it's, it's, it's shocking. You should be a little bit to the customer. It definitely has the heat on the end. It is, yeah. Good um, amount of spice. Like I said, I definitely have had things that are even spicier. Yes. Um, but I think the sweetness is perfect. And I think actually this would work really well in a cocktail. Like yep. if you made this into a Moscow Mule or did uh, something else fun with this, like if you did some sort of you know highball or something, a little yep. whiskey in there. Uh, like I said, uh, yeah, I like doing like more of like a Kentucky mule or something like that. No, I think this would work great. And even on its own, it's, this is really delicious. Yeah. Every single one of these has been fantastic. Favorite one? Uh, probably the grape. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> the grape is really good. Yeah. They're really good. Me it, too. Yeah. I probably just because the ginger ale is not quite as unique. I can find that flavor within a lot of other companies do a kind of craft ginger ale. But yeah, it's probably the grape then the orange dream and then the cream soda and all fairly close. And depending on what yeah. mood I'm in, I could definitely be swayed one way or the other, but yeah, yeah. all excellent. Yep. Oh man, my nose is itching there. I was like, I want to get through this speech. But oh my God. For some reason oh. <laughs> I could tell when you were like setting things up for a, for an edit or for a, okay, here's what we're going to do that. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, all right. It's cause we've been doing this for what? Well, gonna... 15 years. The orange dream would be even better as a float. Yes, I would agree. Yeah, no, like I said, that with a scoop of ice cream. I want to try the root beer, then we'll try to look for that. We need to look for the root beer. Like, what else? Uh, You said there's a Dr. Peppery version. Yeah, that would sound it. So they do a cherry. So ones Mm. that we did not have today, obviously, there's a cherry cola. There's a root beer, which is like literally like almost world renowned. Um, uh, They have a low calorie root beer. Uh, They have a maple root beer soda. So maple. Okay. 
<clears throat> Dr. Sprecher. Dr. Sprecher. Cherry is your favorite personally. Cherry Cola would be good. I definitely would. I love a good Cherry Cola. Uh, Puma Cola. Puma? I don't know what that is. What's Puma Cola? Puma Cola. Dun, 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 for a different dun, cola. Our handcrafted Puma Cola is brewed in our unique fire kettle for delicious taste and character. Each batch is uh, Cola Extra. Oh, okay. Puma Has a good cinnamon cola. finish. Oh, interesting. So that would be interesting. Like I so said, they all sound really interesting. Yeah, the Dr. Sprecher I'd want to try. The Cherry cherry Cola would definitely be up there. They have an apple cherry soda. soda. Apple, strawberry, raspberry, revved up root beer. What the hell's revved up root beer? We added even more sugar. Right. For those of you who didn't think 85 grams of sugar was enough, Six, we've doubled it. 65 grams in there. Maybe it's got caffeine. Maybe with real or Wisconsin honey adds a little kick with. Ca- oh, this one adds caffeine. caffeine. There we go. Okay, so the revved up one adds caffeine. Caffeine. It's caffeinated. German beer. Uh, more sugar and more cocaine. <laughs> yeah, there you go, Keeves. Yep, those things. Keep that guy Mount away Sprecher from my cocaine. Citrus soda. So that's probably like a. Like a Mountain, Mountain Dew, Dew or, a, yeah. or a, what do you call it, Squirt or something like that, Mount maybe. Sprecher. Locale cream soda. Yeah, I mean, I would try any single one of these. Like, they all sound good. Yeah, that ginger, the heat stays kind of nice right at the mm-hmm. back. Like it's, it's still kind of lingering. That's good. No, it's, you need that, like, for some people that might be a little too intense. Like, if you're actually just going to have, like, a ginger brew. Yeah. Um, it's good that it's natural like that, but you could definitely tell how that could be maybe a little too strong. But if you were thinking about that as a mixer for something, then you want that. You want that to be over the top because it's going to get watered down with ice. It's going to get watered down with, you know, whiskey or uh, vodka or whatever else you might put in there. All right, I'm off. I'll catch you the last of this tomorrow. Have a good night. I'll keep. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you for being here. So good to see you. Thank you for coming in. Yeah, no, this is this one is. Yeah, no, these were all these were all winners. Like every one of the like if I saw any one of these in the store, I would probably grab, you know. I would definitely grab them. Have one. Have yeah. Have some on hand and try. Yeah, and try some different ones too. Oh wait, I, I hear your dad joke. Oh, Keeves, let's go. I was, I was worried. Keeves was signing off, but no, uh, but no, he's back. He's like, wait. Yeah. Boom! 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 Mm-hmm. He's slowly making one up or he's typing one. (laughs) A husband says to his wife, my Olympic condoms have arrived. I think I'll wear gold tonight. The wife replies, why not wear silver and come second for a change? Oh, Oh, that is a good one. Oh, my God. That is top tier. That is good. Oh, my God. Okay. That is a good one. That's almost that's uh, that's up there with the uh, the <laughs> postcard from Greece. That is still one of my favorites. <laughs> that is a good one. <laughs> Go wear gold. My wife says, "Why not wear silver and come second for a change?" <laughs> that's really good. <laughs> have you been? Have, did you just hear that one? Or have you been keeping that in your back pocket? That seems like that's that's uh, that one won the gold right there. <laughs> that is a good one. I need to start like adding these to something so that people can just look back at <laughs> just like little exclamation joke point keeps and it just automatically pulls like an old yeah. one. Have a good night back pocket. Oh, you had it in your back pocket? I love <laughs> it. Sprechen in a, oh, like Sprechen Sie Deutsch in German is speak. So these speak to you. These do. These do. They speak, they speak the truth. They speak the truth. <laughs> Make your peace some other way. They speak the delicious truth. We should do. Look, take a quick second here uh, as we're kind of wrapping things up. Let's actually look at their beer. <laughs> uh, yes, I'm 21. Uh, they have a special amber. They have a black Bavarian. Schwarz beer. Nice. Okay. F of Eisen, of course. Abbey Triple. Pineapple Express. Belgian style IPA. Oh, I love a good Belgian IPA. You can't find oh, those yeah. as much anymore. Remember the Kelly Belgi. That's yeah, good. Stone used to do that Cali Belgi that was so good. No, Stone. Juicy IPA. Where have you gone? A lot of 5% IPAs. These are not the Pineapple Express. That one's not, at least. Do the square root of 21. What is the square root of 21? I don't think that one that does not have Four a square. Four and a half? <laughs> Four and three quarters? 
Ten and a half. <clears throat> Uh, the juicy IPA is 5%. Maybach. Best beer. Yeah, a lot of German styles here. Oktoberfest. Winter lager. Munich style dunkel. Interesting. I wonder if they have, it's like, those are probably like your, that's their, their beer list. Tiny pack, soda merchandise. Green River. Oh, Green River, they have their own another soda line? How many hmm. soda lines do we have? Green River, book a brewery tour. Huh. Probably not a lot there beer style wise. Like I would be I think I'd be more interested in their sodas. <laughs> <laughs> there, that one worked. I don't know why the other one work. Okay. Sprechen Sie soda. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <wow. laughs> yeah. C. Oh, wait. C. Poppy. C. C. Poppy. C. You finish. All right. So you have a great idea for next week already. You I walked do. in. This was the most amazing thing ever. We walked in. We had this one ready to go. And he's like, hey, I've already got next week planned got out if you're in. I was like, this sounds awesome. Well, because I almost texted you with one of the stouts if you wanted to try it tonight. But then I saw you had posted everything. And I thought, I'm not going to have you redo all this <laughs> we already had to push it back one week so um so we a couple of breweries breweries that we really like are um drecker drecker brewing and yep. also toppling goliath and what do we usually like from those usually from well from drecker we like their ipas double ipas sours uh, and Toppling Goliath, I've only had their IPAs and double IPAs. Yeah. Only the the lighter stuff. So we have never had darker beers from those two breweries, but we will next week. Very excited. We're, so, so we're going to, that's going to be our, our theme. Uh, and if, I don't know if we have something else, maybe that we only have, I don't know if another one happens and if to the pop thing, up. Yeah. If we could find a third thing, can, that'd be great to have a, but, to we have have, uh, but we'll have two beers uh, that are styles that we don't normally have from a couple of favorite breweries so what is the so director one the director is what um you could stout if you want to look. it's a peanut butter i thought it said a peanut butter milk stout uh, smoother die smoother die that's it smoother die from director brewing company and this then is... the toppling goliath was a i think it, it's if you yeah <laughs> So to declare this love for the creamy overlord of peanuts in butter form, we're dropping brand new peanut butter milk stout packed with chocolatey <clears throat> peanut buttery flavor and aroma. And it's rich and unapologetically smooth. So smooth like the gods intended. Hey, I knew I knew Guardian now to be interested. Tell in me one. more. Tell me more. So here, if like you want what's to, the ABV. Uh huh. Stone, how's uh -huh. it going? Good to see you, Stoney. How are you? There's that if you want to see Guardian down, if you actually want to link to it. And the other one you said was Toppling Goliath. Toppling Goliath. And it was... Maybe just type in Imperial. I don't know. It'll. I thought it had something to do with coffee. Or it said it said coffee. Toppling Goliath. Maybe. Uh, Let's type in stout. Really, Kentucky brunch brand stout. No. Found some dope fruity hefeweizens at the store the other day. Oh, nice, nice. Now wait. Tony, I thought you did not like carb. Wasn't there something with carbonation? Like you don't like carbonated stuff? Is that one low enough carbonation that it doesn't bother you? Where did you find these special selections? Uh, I found these special. Uh, they were at uh, Tap Bottle North. There you go. Yep. Tap Bottle North. Um, I, I didn't have them send me. <laughs> Why receipt. is Toppling Goliath so expensive? That's the first thing there. Oh, I, I don't. Actually, some of their stuff don't you can find that. in that. Three to four dollars. Morning range. delight. Brunch price. No. You sure it's a stout, right? Yes. I would go to <laughs> I would go to Tap and Bottles website, but unfortunately, there's they don't have a search engine. Uh, not even for Toppling Goliath. You can't search oh, for. That's it. right. I mean, we you could said get lucky. that. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Thinking about. Oh, here. Wait. I got it. Morning latte. Oh, morning delight. There we go. Found it. There it is. I do not drink no, but I taste them uh, if my boyfriend has one and I'll have one every now and then, but it will give me a tummy. Okay. That's what I thought. 
called Cali Squeeze. Found them at Fry's. It was a, a box of three flavors, lemon, blood orange, and tangerine. Ooh, that sounds good. Sounds nice and fruity and delicious. I like it. Morning Latte is an imperial coffee milk stout brewed with lactose and a careful blend of cocoa nibs and aromatic coffee to emulate an iced mocha latte. Bill Shapiro asks you to slow down, pour a glass, and enjoy the moment. We will. That sounds good. We will yeah, slow down. I can't think of what enjoy is a brewery. The yeah. Here's a link if people want to actually look at that. I'm already giving you a preview of next week's show. That is the most we have ever done. Ooh. That's crazy. Um, I wonder what they... Might as well bookmark this right now, too, so I don't have to do this later. I'll forget what it is. Um, I wonder what would be a third brewery of, like, something we don't normally have. <laughs> you see there, fella? It can Whoa. only get so erect. Oh Whoa. God. Exactly. Thankfully, the camera's not on you right now. Yeah, that's right. That's why I keep it above table level for us here, because also I'm very excited about these beers as well. It'd be like if Pueblo Vida did a... Well, they do do a stout, though. It's rare. Like pastry it's stout. rare if you did find yeah. one from them. No, well, that would almost one, be. So. Yeah, I'm trying to think of what other brewery we would have not had something from. Um, hmm. All right, well, maybe we'll have, to, we'll have to try and look for something. Yep. I guess it wouldn't have to be a stout. We could find, like, if there's another, no, like, oh, I've be... never had a sour from this right. brewery or something. Right. Something like that. Yeah. All right. Yep. Um, all right. Well, we're going to head out, but uh, since uh, the man of the evening was not able to be here, I think we should go say hi to Jav. I Send think him we over there oh, and uh, we'll let him know that uh, some fun things happen tonight and we'll get him uh, the video. I'll probably post that at some point on uh, all of ye olden uh, Twitter and all that stuff. Where is my where are my buttons? Uh, there it is. A little shameless <laughs> plug right there. <laughs> hi, bye. Oh, well, hi, bye. <laughs> so it's good to see you. Let's see, I'll have to look for those beers, though. Those sound good, too. Bevy Raid. Yes, we'll be doing a Bevy Raid. Heading on over there. Like I said, we will say hi to Jav. <laughs> let him know that uh, things went very well. And uh, again, that will uh, we'll clip that down. That will get up on social media for him. And I'll let him know that he has uh, something uh, that he has to make a decision on and how he, what version that he wants to come to him at some point. So, uh, yeah. But thank you guys all for being here tonight. Yeah, thanks for being here. Super, we, super fun. As we consumed copious amounts of sugar. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. I mean, at least I can get some projects done, I guess, tonight or something. I'm ready. I'll do some video editing. I'll just do everything tonight. We'll get it done. But, yeah, let's go say hi to Jav, and uh, we will see you all next week, right? Same bat time, same bat channel? That's right. All right. That sounds like, like a plan. Already, yeah, you already have an idea of what we're doing. Actually, not right. an idea. At you least two out of three. That's right. That ain't bad. Good night, everybody. Good night. Mm.